Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back. The stream is live. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> right. Just for reference, we're watching the the final Grand Prix of the season. Obviously, Lewis Hamilton has won a long time ago, but hey ho, here we go. We're back. We're back indeed. Uh, let's make sure that's all in the middle. I think so. Ooh, right, chill. We just, we just chill, relax. We just sit back a bit. Chill. We're on time. We're on time. We're so early. We've got half an hour until kickoff. How are we doing, chat? Guys, if you're new watching this... Oh, turn the volume down. Guys, if you're new watching this, please make sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps us out. And I heard as well, every single like is another chance we're supposed to win the game. Is that it's, yeah, it's, it's happened pretty much every I, time. You know what? I didn't know that. If I never knew that. Come on, guys. Help out. Help out. Help leave a like. Out. And you've got to obviously share I've the stream it. as well on socials. If you're lucky, I might share. If you post it on your story, on Instagram, or even on Twitter, I might... I might share it as well. So make sure to share the stream. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're new as well. But we've got half an hour until Crystal Palace. What a result yesterday, Dad. Oh, it's all gone well. It's, it's all going it's too, too well. well. It's too well. It's too good. I'm worried because of that. <laughs> we know it's so spursy to, to not do what we need to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll uh, live in hope and expectation and belief. We got belief this year. We do, we do. So Chelsea obviously lost to Everton away. Chelsea have yet to beat a team currently in the top ten in the league. Yes, they've. I yes, think I saw their. Say. I saw their goal scoring record. I think right. It's roughly this. They've scored twenty five goals, yes. most in the league. All right. Out of that twenty five, I think. Oh, oh no, no! I'm gonna have to go find it now. I'm oh, pretty certain. On, you've got to have the stats no, ready. no. You see, I'm pretty certain uh, that they, 15 of them in the 25 were in the bottom 10. Yeah. Um. Oh, it might even be more than oh, that. You come know. Come on. It's got to be more than that. Uh, there's so many stats. Just George, if you're gonna cast Chelsea, you've got to be on the point, on the money. Listen, they're crap. They they can't score. That's all you need to say. They, only, that's what I need to say. They've only scored twice against teams in the top 10. Basically, they're they're terrible. Out of the 25, they've scored. Um, okay, well, I'll make that 23 then. Or top six or something like that, I think. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. They, they've scored no goals against the top six. Zero goals against the top six. Teams, teams. in the top six or the ones No, isn't it? Like just in, consider the top six, the big six. Is that includes Arsenal? Apparently so. But you compare them, right? Liverpool are second with six goals against the top six. Oh, I saw this one, yes. Yeah, so Liverpool yeah. scored six against the top six or the big six, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think even Arsenal have scored two or four. I can't remember what round is. I think Manu have scored four. Um, Ch and Man City have scored two, two, I believe. And Chelsea have scored none. Spurs, ten. ten. We've scored ten against the big six. And six we part the bus. United. And we supposedly part the bus. Come on, guys. Terrible. Terrible. Awful results. Chelsea, I told you Chelsea is fraud. Lampard's a fraud. I said it from the start of the season. They can only beat teams in the bottom half of the table. In the bottom half of the day, they can't score. Another stat they said before the game, right? Verna. All right, Sun. Sun's goal conversion rate is 47%. 47. Wow. Does that mean when he's got a chance? Jamie. No, this is how many times what? he scored from shots. His but goal conversion rate is yeah. 47%. Okay. Which is phenomenal. Basically, one in two is going in with Sunny. Exactly. Vardy is 40%. Still incredible good. for a striker. You want more than thirty. Good. You want more than a third, really, from yeah. a striker. Thirty-three percent. Werner, thirteen percent conversion rate from all the shots he's had. Ha! Dead. And all the goals he's scored are basically corners anyway, or tap So, uh, sorry, I mean uh, penalties or tap So you know. Chell who? Chell who? Ah. Sorry, what? 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 Lamp you know. They say they say about fraudulo fraudiola. I think uh, Lampard's the one that needs to be called out. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can slander Havertz for now, but obviously he is just a very, very young player. But um, still, man, record signing. What was it? 75 million yeah, for this upper cover. I thought it was great, at obviously, buying Leverkusen, but clearly, clearly the Premier League is just just something else because he, he hasn't performed at all for Chelsea yet. But yeah, he, I, uh, he, he is, um, he is a very, very young it's player. It's a little bit early to be it's laughing. It's too early for him. It's too early for it's him. It's too early to be out laughing at Chelsea, but you've got to enjoy it while you can, you guys. Got, you got to. On. You got to. They're, they were considered our real threat. Now it's, it's between us and Liverpool. It is between us and Liverpool. We've got Man them on Wednesday as well. Draw. What a result. Oh, that's that a result is. as well. What a result. Fantastic. I'm rather pleased to say I didn't see that game. 
And when you watch a match of the day, it's not even in the first three games. You <laughs> know how bad it is for Man United, which is compulsory listen, to be first game on. Listen, the day. they say we're boring. That was one of the worst games I think I've seen this season. Everyone said that Spurs Chelsea was a boring match. We Spurs still had more shots than both teams in that game yesterday. Really? That's how bad it was. <laughs> Unbelievable, shocking behaviour, and they would dare call our game boring. Yeah, it's uh, certainly a very interesting season this year. It is. And we've got a fantastic challenge. But what I hate is that we've started off incredibly well, yet somehow these teams are still so close to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's the crazy. Two, the two cock-ups against Newcastle and, and uh, West Ham. And West Ham. We'll give the Everton loss. Fair enough. Fair enough. We they were start... outplayed on that. We didn't and deserve And they, they started the season off amazing as well. There. Unbeaten yeah. after however many games. Okay, do you want me to get the door? Yes, please. That might, yeah. Yes, please. Um, Emma Rivera, $5 dono. Um, we need to dominate this game like the Southampton match so we can focus on Liverpool. Got to gain points when people drop them. Come on, you Spurs. That's exactly, exactly how we need to do. We need to just destroy them today, get as far ahead as possible um, with obviously the big game against Liverpool on Wednesday because even if we do get a draw from the Liverpool game, that's still, that's still a very good result, all things considering. Let's move this over a little bit, I think. Oh, I'll go. Something like that would do. Yeah, so a draw would st could still be a good result if we manage to get the points today. Um, so, yeah, let's go, let's go and do this, all right? What are the chances of Kane and Son assisting each other again? We're playing Crystal Palace. Um, big game. Also, people asking about players like Bale, Vinicius, and who was the other one? Uh, basically, all three players that came off in the 58th minute on Thursday, none of them are in the squad. Really? Winks, Vinicius and Bale are not in the squad and they all came off at the same time on Thursday night. So it might be a bit of resting them. I can, I would imagine. I don't understand. There hasn't been anything about understand. Bale injuries. He was training this week, so it must be a rest. But you, we weren't expecting him to play against Liverpool or even Leicester. We, yeah, we both predicted that he would start today. So to not be in the squad is, is unbelievable. Yeah, quite shocking, to be honest with you. Yeah. And as, as it's... It surge, it says. What do you think of Delhi on the bench? Well, to be honest with you, I think he's only made the bench because of the fact that he's dropped Bale, Vinicius and Winks. But obviously it's good. I would like to see him come on today, especially if we are cruising. Um, it's only his third time being involved in the squad in the Premier League this season. Only his third. And they're both from really? the bench, I believe. I don't think he's, he definitely hasn't started a game, I don't think. Well, we know this is a scene of his amazing goal that he scored oh. against Palace. So... Technically, probably his best goal that he scored for us um, okay. in terms of technical ability. Obviously, some amazing goals against Chelsea. But if we're talking about um, the type of finish, the little volley over, unbelievable. Even his one against Man United was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant finish as well. So, chat are telling us that Bale is ill. He's Ill. Ill. I can okay. never say that word. Ill. Ill. He's not well, yeah, but not COVID-related. That would make a bit more sense because yeah. uh, we really expected him to start. To be honest, there must be some sort of bug going around because a few players have been ill now, haven't they? Reguilón's been ill um, and Dombele's been ill. Now Bale, potentially the other two as well if they're not involved, Winks and, and Vinicius. So I guess uh, maybe there's just a typical bug going around given the fact it's freezing outside in the I UK. I think Winks missed the last squad as well, which is crazy, really. Did he? I think so. I'm pretty sure oh, he wasn't there. You, might, you oh, might be right I there, actually. Was, I think he wasn't there. I can't so. remember the bench from the from the last game. Because what would, it was, it <laughs> was is Arsenal, amazing. Because, right? uh, you know, I totally expect him to be in and around that that team, that squad. But Jose can't keep everyone happy. We know that. Yeah. He said it himself, and it's true. And that's because we've got an absolutely brilliant squad. And that's why we've got every chance of winning not just one, but at least two trophies this year. And, you know, it might not go our way, but we've got, you know, we've probably never had a better chance since the Premier League has been running anyway. Yeah. So. For sure. Um, oh, the thing is, we're playing so. We're just taking every, like, every game we kind of play a bit differently as well and still just playing yeah. so well recently. Um, so I am very much looking forward to this game because even though obviously they battered West Brom last week, I do love Zaha. He's in, he's in quite a bit of form this season. Um, ben Teke actually managed to score a couple of goals last week. 
because he never does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm. I still think this is the kind of game that, with this Mourinho team especially, we should do hopefully really well in. Because um, at the end of the day, we still know how to win. I reckon I'm going to go for a two nil Spurs win. Is my prediction. Um, I think I'm going to go for that. I think. I would love it. I would love, absolutely love it to be like 4-0, 5-0, the kind of result it really should be against these kind of opponents. However, Selhurst Park, a little bit of a bogey, not a bogey stadium. I mean, we've still won nine and, and drawn one out of the last 10 games yeah. against Crystal Palace, but they're never really convincing. They're never convincing, um, really. We, uh, Ericsson saved us last minute. That Deli Ali goal kind of saved us as well. Um, well, there were some other results where we only just about beat them um, in games uh, when we play them away. So I'm a bit, little bit apprehensive, but I still think we're, we're obviously good enough to beat them. So I'm only just going to go for a 2-0. Okay. Um, I think that even though our defence is one of the meanest in the league, um, I'm going Crystal Palace 2. Tottenham three. Ooh, ooh, think really? You think they're going to get a couple of? It's it's one or two ways this game. It's either going to be so tight, nil nil, one minute, one you know, goal last minute kind of thing. Yep. Or it's just going to be goals galore. And I always prefer a game for the goal, so I'm going to say two three. Um. So we shall see. What are you what guys? Predictions? Oh, yeah. No, you ask it. no, 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 only, no. It wasn't even that. It was only because oh. I read about it. But what do you guys make of Sheffield United this season? Absolutely getting battered every single week. Only got one point all season in the first eleven games, um, or twelve games even. Is it? Was this the twelfth game? I think it might have been. I think this was the twelfth game. Um, but one point, and that was against Fulham, who at the time both of them were rock yeah. bottom on zero points, maybe. So you have to think. I heard Mercer men say this yesterday. You got to think. What is that? How many games left? Twenty six games left. Yep. Normally you need forty points. Yep. So to be safe, that's normally they need to win thirteen. They need to win half, half of, of their remaining games to be considered safe. To, to maybe stay up. It's not happening, Sheffield United. Sorry, guys. Not even Sam Allardyce can save you. <laughs> from from where you're at now, yeah, guys. I think they're I think they're on track, and I don't think it will change to be uh, relegated with the record least amount of points, and probably the quickest in the Premier League yeah. to get relegated. Because well, any time I watch them, I can't I can't get, I can't see them get a single point. They can't score. And the thing is, right? You know, you could notice it last year. Yes, they were incredible in terms of finishing. It's eighth, I think they finished, but that was because they had the most insane defense. They still weren't really scoring goals last year. Yeah. The games they were winning were 1-0, well, 2-1. They weren't battering teams. How, how many of you guys started with three Sheffield United defenders or midfielders in, in, in your, your fantasy, fantasy team? team. Yeah. yeah. They were the certainties. They were the cheap players to bring in your team last year. Yep. <laughs> and, then, the uh, and they were getting so many clean sheets. But how much do you reckon is it down to them not having Dean Henderson anymore um, yeah. between the sticks? Or is it really just... Is, Typical second season syndrome with them happens to a lot of newly promoted teams. They kind of ride off of the momentum of getting promoted. Um, they well kind of get a bit start. gassed, do really well at the start. Obviously, had an insane season. No one expected it to last the whole season like it did. But then this year, it just seems like they've lost that momentum and they're finally showing the ability of the team that they have. Because a lot, well, the majority of them are championship players that have been brought up oh, yeah. into yeah. the Premier League. And I think it really just shows the level. Um, I don't think they signed enough quality Premier League players to be able to stay up. I mean, even the players they did buy, who was that they brought in midfield? They bought a central midfielder who's um, had a lot of promise and oh, very talented. Brewster? Was he the... Brewster? No, 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 he's oh, the striker yeah, from that's... Liverpool. I'm talking last, in January, they signed the, is he Norwegian? Um, there's a centre mid they bought that everyone thought, oh, he's a really great up and coming player, but again, not a proven Premier League player. They didn't buy proven Premier League players who were experienced to stay up so now they're now yeah. they're struggling they really are struggling um, so, so what, do you, what do you make of um, I'm going to change it back to the Go Spurs on. game what do you make of Easy I think he's class he looks Look so good. good he reminds me of what Deli Ali used to be like in terms of the flair that they, yeah. they bring to the game um, that he's pulling off some tricks every single match and he's looking he's looking class so I think he's a I great know. young talent to be fair He's easy on the eye, isn't Ooh, he? Ooh, didn't even plan that, that one guys. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Sander oh. Burge, that's the player I'm thinking of. Thanks, chat. 
Yeah. So um, 15 minutes till kickoff. Correct. Um, I believe there's someone called George Sunderland in the chat, George. <laughs> mind. George's mum is from, from Sunderland. from Sunderland. <laughs> That's quite funny, that. So I, I assume this George is from Sunderland rather than that being his surname? Um, sorry, yeah, because people are talking about the fact that we can't break down teams that could be a struggle. While, yes, I agree, we have struggled against teams like Burnley um, that obviously more, most parts sit back and defend. Yeah, I think Palace, Palace are a bit that. different. They're... I think with the players they've got, especially after last week, and especially being at home, they're going to attack a lot more, um, I feel like, and that will definitely play into our hands so much better. So I'm hoping that they don't actually sit back and defend. You never know. Roy Hodgson might change it because they realise how well we're playing. He might go back in defensive and realise that we can't break them down. But whenever they do get forward with the likes of Zaha, Easy, Benteke, um, I think it's going to be a lot easier for us to counter-attack compared to the likes of Burnley yeah. um, and yeah. Brighton. I, I do think they're, it's a lot easier to attack than, than, um, than the likes of Burnley, as I was so just saying. But what do you guys reckon, chat? We haven't asked your opinion on your, the scoreline. Uh, do that shout out. Uh, Godfrey, is your, is it, is your brother's birthday. Happy birthday to uh, HD Godfrey's brother. His name's also George. Happy birthday, there George. You there you go. Um, and Dom uh, needs to step it up. Looked tired and lazy last time out. Don't know what you've been watching. He's been our best player by a mile. Um, I think he just needs to stay at the same level. Unless you're talking about the game on Thursday where we were cruising, so we didn't really need to. Oh, you, <laughs> when he came on, you can't those do European games. Not at all. Those European games. It's just so hard. It's like when you're playing that weaker opposition. It's, you'd think it'd be a struggle, but sometimes it's just hard to get out, get into the gears that you need to get into. Yeah. Um, but by the time he came on, we were one nil up anyway. Luckily, so no, wasn't a problem. Wasn't a problem. How are we doing? Thirteen minutes to thirteen kickoff. minutes until kickoff. We'll we'll do the lineup before the kickoff. We'll do it now, but then obviously we'll do it right before the kickoff, just so people can see. But this is how the teams line up. I'll start with Crystal Palace. Um, with uh, that, I never I don't know how to pronounce his name. Good 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 Gaita? Good good hold on, hold on. I need, I need to see if I can get, get get his name up properly because I don't know how to pronounce Crystal Palace's goalkeeper. Um Vin, Vicente Giata. 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 <laughs> Him. Kima. Um Wait, Kima. Uh, back four of Klein, Kiate, Cahill, and Van Arnholt. Midfield, Schlupp, Milivojevic, MacArthur, and Ize, with Christian Benteke and Zaha as well. I don't know if they'll actually play the 4 4 2. I think they four have four been four recently, two. haven't they? Um, I think after watching their last game, it looked like they were set up as a 4 4 2. On to Spurs, though. Pretty much, well, not pretty much, the exact same team we play against Arsenal, Man City, and all these, uh, and Chelsea, and all these other games, um, with Region. Dyer, Toby, Serge Aurier making up the defence. Hugo a recent goal, obviously our captain. Hoiberg, and they've got this the wrong way around, but Sissoko will be next to him in midfield. Undombele playing as a number 10, um, or sometimes striker, because Kane will drop in behind him. Yeah. Um, and then Bergvan and Son out wide. So it is the exact same team we've been playing every single week, um, which was quite surprising, as we said. Was not expecting this to be the lineup. Um well, if it's true Today. that Bale's in, um, Ill. ill, then that, he probably had that to, would yeah. make sense. He, I, th I think he was planning to play him. Uh, indications from previous teams he's, he's set out. You would have thought that he would play Bale at the start of this, give Bergwijn a, a rest, yeah. let him come in on Wednesday against Liverpool. But, um, you know, if Bale was out, then he's reverted to his strongest lineup, Which is fair enough. Yeah. Which is fair enough. I'll, I'll be interested to see you, d you didn't show the subs. Uh, oh, the sub were, was, so the subs are, um, well, obviously everyone knows that Delhi Alley's back. Oh, full-time 3-0. That's clean sheet for Carl Walker-Peters. Although everyone's got a Southampton defender in their team, haven't they now? Um, the the bench yeah. is Joe Hart, Matt Doherty, Joe Roden, Ben Davis, Lo Celso, Deli Alley, and Lucas Mora. So obviously with Vinicius not being bench. there, we haven't got a striker to come on, but we still have the likes of Ali, the Celso and Mora. Hopefully like everyone, I think every Spurs fans is kind of hoping we can see a bit of Deli Ali today and it would be nice to see a bit of Deli Ali playing well as well. Um, because oh, Vinicius, what does he need to do? He just scores every game in uh, Europa. I know. 
Uh, and, this... and, and the thing is, you know, if we get into last eight, last four in the Europa, you'll start yeah, playing. We'll start Kane. playing first team. Well, I hope he starts playing both of them in the Europa towards like uh, playing Kane and Vinicius. Yeah. Because yeah. Kane will play a lot more defensive role as Can't well. See that lately. He definitely play a lot more defensive role <laughs> uh, as well. So I'm, uh, yeah, it'll be good to see both of them play at some point. No, no Tanganga today. Must be resting because he's played uh, the past three Europa League games, I believe, and obviously played the whole of Thursday. Um, so he wasn't going to make the squad, especially with Joe Roden not registered for the Europa League. Um, so Joe Roden makes the bench ahead of him today, which makes sense. It makes sense. We've got such a big squad now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put a bet on both Kane and Son to assist each other again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fancy that to happen. Although I don't know if I've got any... What account what do, I, do, I, do, I, do I do? I have any money in an account to do on? <laughs> that's the question. As long as I can have the winnings <laughs> when it comes through. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, nasty. I'm checking my Coral account there. I saw, I saw someone did it a couple of weeks ago and I, want, I feel like it's just going to happen again today. That is crazy. What's going on? Anything exciting in the... Uh, I've, Perez is out. Apart from that, I haven't seen anything. Is that today's one? Mm. Nice. <laughs> We've got a long way to go. Guys, no spam in the chat, people. We want to let everyone be able to, to be able to speak and sh spread the word. 600 people in here will kick off uh, in ten less than 10 minutes' time. Oi, oi. And we're with a $10 donation. Remember when Jose told Kane he was going to make him explode? Also, do yeah. you think Bale cares his game time isn't high because he's enjoying his time back at Spurs? Uh, first of all, yes, I do remember that, that clip. I actually came back on my timeline yeah. the other day, yeah. and I saw it was just amazing. Um, but no, I think, well, today he's ill, apparently, according to everyone in Alistair Gold, trusted sources. So I don't think he's necessarily worried about that. He's getting quite a bit of game time in the Europa League. Um, and he knows, I, I think, look at when he, the way he celebrated against Arsenal when we scored the goal. Whenever Real Madrid no, scored, he, a he didn't even move a muscle. He like barely yeah, clapped. Yeah. Whereas now he's jumping off of his seat ecstatic. I think he's just really happy to be involved in a team that, and, a, and a club I'm that cares sure about him. he wants to play more. There's no doubt about Oh, and, and, yeah, no any doubt. footballer wants to play more, of course no they doubt. do. But I think he knows his limitations at the moment in terms of his fitness. So yeah. it's a slow process and I don't believe it's a one season loan. Um, it's definitely in the plans for us to either loan him for his final season or just buy him at the end of the year. There's no way he's going to want to go back to Real Madrid and there's no way Real Madrid are going to want to have him back either. So he, he will be with us again. So it's all a long term plan just to transition his game, evolve his game, as I said on Twitter, evolve his game. Do so I if mean? you guys hit that like button, come on, George Kinnear's channel, know. I don't know sponsored have, by M. Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally every single bloody week. Love the guy. Love the guy. Um, <laughs> actually, he is. Uh, Two hundred and thirty-seven likes. Ah, come on, chat. There's 567 people in here. Every single one of you leaves a like right now. It help the stream and it helps Spurs button. win as well to maintain top of the season, top of the league until we get. To <laughs> and, uh, until we play Liverpool on Wednesday, uh, the big game. We all know it's the big game on Wednesday. Let's get up to three. Let's see how quickly we get to three hundred likes. I do get it. I do get it. Um, no, but yeah, just let you know, because no, we are watching the Formula One game. What? Is Uh, uh, yeah, we sort of already did, but that was... He signed it after and get, did like a little giveaway for the Leicester Pride, I believe it was. Um, right, we've got five minutes. We probably should change over the channel. Move away from the Grand Prix. Yeah. So, all right. This is getting too hot in here. I can't believe you got that sweatshirt on. I'm actually pleasantly warm. Like, I'm not even that hot yet. I will do soon once we're, we're stressing and sweating over the match. Yeah. Not my favourite Spurs hype. shirt, this, in terms of... The fear the fe yeah, the fear of that isn't that great, is it? Well, when it's not the... Abs but not but the it was the one that was worn in the final. Oh, do we need to remember that? forget <laughs> about. <laughs> but, but to wore that, to have got the chance to go there, to go to a Champions League final. Back. And on the back... Can you put a fibre on for me, please? Oh, nice. 
Yes, please. Thank you. It's a fiver. Hmm? 40 to 1. Yeah. And then assist each other. Yeah. It's guaranteed money <laughs> at this <Shut> point. <laughs> the way this season's out. going, it's guaranteed money. <laughs> what am I not? Why are you not doing it? <laughs> I saw that thing about Bale, Bale saying carriers this on. I can't log into mine. I don't know why it's not. What do you want? Let's try that. Let's try that. I, don't know I, I can't log into my penny. I, I, I haven't put a bet on ages. <laughs> um, I've got my Spurs shirt on. Don't worry. It's underneath here. My Spurs shirt's on, but I've also got this nice vintage Spurs top anyway. So don't you worry. Thank you. <laughs> um, am I logged in is the question. What the hell's my username? Harry Kane, a score of goal and make an assist is seven to one. Nice. I'm not sure if they've got a specific... I've actually, for the first time in my fantasy team, um, made Sun captain. I always put Kane captain and I've decided, you know what? Today's a day I see Kane dropping in deeper like he does every week, but... Um, you know, I mean, he's done it all the time, but I always end up getting the assist points for Kane rather than the goal for Sonny, so... Why did I not... Again. It's sad some of these bets. You can, you can bet on them one of the most ridiculous things. Tackles. Thing, what? <laughs> Aurea to win one or more tackles, 80 to 1 <laughs> on. Can I say for him not to win a tackle? <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the chat saying they're used to you wearing your, your FA Cup one. The, the one that's yes. is that one? Oh, I, I try and Is there somewhere? I do, I do change my clothes occasionally. <laughs> Why is my why is it not loading? It's really annoying. I'm gonna do it before the game kicks off. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I need to change it. Out. Palace's run. last five games: one lost, lost, one lost. That doesn't look right. No, the, this this would be the most recent one. So they've lost oh, two. They lost sorry. two before the West Brom one. Lost one, lost, lost one. Yep. Oh, yeah, they're doing now. Yeah, because it's only twenty-five to one on. Right. How do I find this? You shouldn't gamble, George. Where would it be it's under? Disgraceful. It's for fun. How do I, I goal scorers? How do I do Apple. like? What are you on? Bet three six five. It's the only one I could actually log into. I couldn't find any. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! You don't mind? Um, <laughs> what what are you doing on, guys? It's on Skybet. Is it actually like already set on Skybet? Yeah, it's like an actual. Oh god. Okay. Um, I don't have that. I'll do it for me as well. While you're there. I'll be oh, the same. You can't. Put five pound on it. It's fine because the most popular bet today. Maximum state is five pounds. Huh? No wonder. So many people keep betting on it. Bet builder. Can I do that? Stop it here. Oh. Player to score. No. Yeah, yeah Harry Kane. Like yeah, but I don't have. Bet place. Oh, did I have money in the account? Okay, so that bet is on. Scorecast, any time scorecast. Obviously, we don't approve of any of this. Don't gamble, guys. No, unless you're old enough and do it responsibly if you do decide to do so. Exactly. We're, just doing, just, this, we're just doing this for league. fun. <laughs> One second. One second. I mean, you can have a score for that. I've tried to look at the specials. I'm not there. Oh, whoops, I've just gone off the game by accident. Benteke hat-trick incoming. I think someone's a little bit excited after what happened last week against West Brom, <laughs> who are fighting for relegation at the moment. So, um, Wouldn't be surprised if Palace hold us to a draw. I hope not. I really hope not. Guys, stop spamming. Otherwise, you will get uh, banned for five minutes. We've got for five minutes. It allows everyone else to have a little chat in the game as well. But kickoff is underway in about one minute's time. One minute. All right? Palace getting ready to kick off. Sorry, are we there? Yeah, we're Ooh, there. I've, I've so, much pass. Fun. so much fun, guys. That I... We're just trying just to find the bet. Missed what was I'm going good, on. Spencer. How you doing, man? How you doing? Okay, glasses on. Glasses you got to get on, the kit ready. on. And you haven't done the lucky My thing. My kit is on. Pat the Come head. On. Rub the belly. It's like the Buddha luck. We've got this. The fact that I had to ask. Just not good enough. I was going to do it earlier then. We got into the whole bet thing and oh, the brain's just scrambled right now. That's all right. Kane will score. Some will assist. Some will score. Kane will assist. Palace, of course, do have 2,000 supporters there today. I think it's the first time for them because I believe they played, yeah, they played away to West Brom last week, didn't they? 
Yeah. Um, so it's the first time they've had uh, fans back in. Might give them that little bit extra boost. We saw it happen with Everton yesterday. Oh, God damn it. And there are... And we have kicked off. Let's go. Come you Spurs. There are strong Both rumors starting. that Maguire. London will go into tier three as of next week. Well, apparently so we've got the highest infection rate, so, so I would not be surprised, to be honest with you. We're probably likely to stop being able to have even the 2,000 fans at the stadium. We won't be able to go anywhere if that happens, which is sad. Um, but Spurs we're currently 30 seconds into the game. In their white kit, playing from right to left. Zaha currently on the ball and attack. Good defending from Toby. How is Zaha asking for a foul there? God, I can, th that's the only way I can really see Crystal Palace scoring today is someone going down in the box and they get a penalty. Does oh. Milivojevic still take their penalties? He must do. Got to stick a Coys in there. Love that chat. Let's get this energy up. Uh, we've got more people than we did in before, so I'm going to ask again, what do you think your score predictions are for today? I said 2-0 Spurs win. I would love it to be more than that. I said before, I'd love it to be a 4-5-0. Away to Palace, can't really see that happening. If we'll play them at home, yeah, for sure. Okay, but we're on the break now. Sunny out wide. Good, out wide to Reguilon. To Reguilon, he's sprinting forward. Harry moves Trying to forward. the left. Reguilon's not sure There's what no to do. Sun's in the middle. Go on, assist him. <laughs> oh, it's a great ball. Oh, Bergwijn oh, couldn't get the unlucky. touch. Harry nearly got an assist. Not for... Uh, Good oh, from Ndombele, winning it back. Trying to run through the whole talent. He actually players. tried to legit run through the players. <laughs> Not in the gap. He tried to squeeze himself between two players. Sissoko looked to do some skills and then remembered who he was <laughs> and decided, no, the easier option is to do the two-yard pass to uh, Just, uh, uh, Aurea, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, like, you could see him thinking, oh, I can have a shot. Oh, oh no. Oh, maybe not. Spencer's right. We do already look a bit dangerous on the break. I think that little that change of pace from Reguilon and even Sonny running into the middle, who looked open. If only you know Kane had the vision. Definitely hasn't had any of that this year. Oh, Dombele nearly came off. Yeah, you know what? I think it was it Oreo? I think Oreo ready. that he was doing it between was not ready for it. I think yeah. he wasn't even sure that um, Ndombele could uh, make Pretty that nice. pass off. Yeah. Oh, that's Reguilon on the left. Reguilon is starting to pop pretty sharp, which is good. Bit strange that well, he did. started that game on Thursday, because um, it kind of just looked a bit lackluster, and we went for yeah. the back five, which hasn't worked for Spurs. But it's good move into Son from Reguilon. Son left of the box back into Sergi. Back, back to, to Sonny. Sonny. Nice Bio. interplay between the Spurs it's players. Good. It's, it's, it seems to be quick movements, which is good. Um, definitely a lot faster pace in the Europa Sonny League match for sure. Area, this played first a few team. one twos. That's a nice little triangle football. For Spurs. Come on, Bergwijn. Bergwijn running and collecting the ball from Warrior. Oh, we tried a bit of skill, but it's all right. Bergwijn still got it. Got left foot? No. Nope. I don't think Bergwijn oh, has a left foot, oh, to be honest with you. Go on, Andon Bailey. There's a goal at the end of this. It's going to be one of the 39 passes. Yeah. Goals. So what's this about us being boring and defensive? I told you this is the kind of game we would attack more. I think Crystal Palace have got good players that um, to attack going forward, so it should make the counter-attack easier. It should make it a lot yeah. easier. Someone reckons it was scoring so the 21st start, minute. Three minutes in. Spencer, well, I, I didn't manage to do it at the end, but we've got bets on uh, Son and Kane to assist each other in this match. Right, pay me £2.50. You can have half of that. All right, bet. all right. Uh, go I'll, I'll go halves with both oh, of your bets. Oh, you, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Next thing you know, you, you'll win and then I'll have nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's a question. You know how, like, it must do, right? If You know how in fantasy football they give the assist to someone who wins a penalty? Yeah. Does that officially count as well in the matches? Like, would, if, say, Son went down and Kane scored the penalty, oh, would that still count bet. as assist to each other? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Because, you know, some websites, some websites don't yeah. put, like, an assister when someone scores a penalty. So I don't know if it would officially... I, I know fantasy do it for the, for the fantasy football as part of their rules. Yeah. But I don't know if it's an official I stat. The, the bookies will. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of think. Mm, we're not going to count that one. Not to. There we go. Zaha trying to make his way into the box. And Dombele with a <laughs> defensive. <laughs> wow. Weird defensive header clearance, but good tracking back from him to get back in I there. I mean, gotta say he was the furthest forward a minute ago. Yeah. Oh, he lost a bit. To be fair, he was. He lost the. Was ball it him that passed field. it in? And lost yeah. It so it's good that he trapped back so then to cover for he it. He come back. He does have a weird his run, weird doesn't running. he? He does. It's like he's falling over. Yeah, he does. Forward. He leans so far forward as he runs. All right, back with Reguilon again. Is this a replay or something? This looks like a replay of the moment At we've had before. Pace. 
at them. Got Don't more. be afraid to shoot. Oh, I tried to cut inside. But the thing is, right. Kane did a Kane kind of changed his run and was actually open in the middle. So maybe if if Reguilon could have looked We're up a bit Palace earlier. Under pressure, they've kicked the ball out. Um, we've got. Oh, well, we've thrown it back. Appreciate that, Godfrey. Man, thank you. I am wearing a Spurs. Don't worry. This is Spurs as well. Spurs under here. I'm actually like, I like the like the comfort of the jumper. But I've got. I'm repping Spurs. Don't you worry, uh, Abdul. It was Abdul. Yeah, Abdul that asked that. What do you guys make of off starting the first five minutes? Because at the moment it seems like we're attacking really well. So Jorio, oh, uh, too too, too long, far. too far. But we are looking sharp. We are moving the ball pretty quickly. Both, both the fullbacks uh, really showing high. attacking intent. Yep. It's looking good, looking very sharp from Spurs again. And Dombele furthest forward from their goal kick, which is quite funny. Look at okay, I think Kane's dropped all the way to the halfway line. To win the header, and you got Ndombele as striker yeah. right now. <laughs> Where is Kane? I can't see him. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, he was on the other side of the pitch. In the centre half, as he does. Yeah. Do you see that in um, in Mourinho's interview that he did with Sky Sports, where they were saying that Kane talking about Kane's ability and that he sees him. He's saying he could play him as centre mid, but that means his his last third it would be wasted in the last third not having him there. But he says he could also see him play centre back. Yeah. With how well he reads the game defensively. Oh, here, oh, here we go. He's easy into Zaha. Zaha went for a left footed shot, but well blocked by Toby. I love Toby, man. What a defender. It's great that he's back too. Yeah. Massive the Toby blip. that we know and love. Massive blip last season. Massive blip last season, but so did Vertonghen. Um, so, it's, yeah, it's really good to see him back to his best. I think it's pretty much since the, the Premier League restart, actually, he's been good. Um, before that, there was a lot of concerns last season, which is why we were looking to sign centre backs. But no, it's really good to see him back at form. And I'm really, I'm actually really pleased to see Dyer stepping up his game as well. I think he started the season poorly at centre back, um, but has definitely, definitely grown into the role massively. Uh, I just hope he can keep it up and make it consistent. Yeah, saying that our wake is non-existent. You're right, it is non-existent. But I don't know why we'd choose to do a dark green kit for our away kit. I can't see us ever wearing that. I can't see, yeah. Are we playing? I, I thought we... we wouldn't go today. Somehow it's just too horrible a clash with Palaces. Because it's quite dark as well, their kit. We, so we could have wanna... the yellow today. We could have done. It's weird. Who, like, is there is there a team that wears white and yellow? To, like, for us to have to wear our... Huh. It's not a good combo, is it? No. Ooh, oh, that's got to three, be a what? Three. Play on. Actually, I, I didn't see. I don't, I don't know. Mdombele okay. seemed to do quite well there to, to get chess control it and did seem to get barged, but the referee's given nothing. Palace currently on the ball on the right hand side with Klein. Sonny well, done well to win off of him. Of well Come done. On. Sergio. Yeah, Kevin Friend. Kevin Friend, yeah. Just said that. It's good that Sonny went in that back. Instantly, instantly shutting them down. And yes, let's leave a light to lift the energy up a little bit. I asked for 400 likes earlier. We haven't even hit that, people. Come on, we got 373. Let's get up to 500 likes. There's over 600 people watching us right now. Oh, what a ball through. forward. Sonny, come on. Oh, it's too wide, too wide. He needed to take that shot earlier. He waited a little bit too long. Who played that ball into him? Was it Toby again? Oh, and he what saw the run. run. What a ball. What a run. Took it under control, but just got taken a bit wide. Yeah. I, I feel like he yeah. should have had the shot the first time around and then waited again. But there, oh, he kind of started. Yeah. It was difficult to get it under control. Very difficult. But what a brilliant ball forward by Toby. And the thigh. run as well. Ah, he definitely should have shot that first time around. It would have at least given him more of a chance to hit the shot on target. George is unable to show the match, I'm afraid. Copyright reasons. Yeah. It is what it is. Oh, two pound donation from Fishy XR. Oh, yeah. Tell your daddy's a legend. You oh, know look it. Look at that. You love that little <laughs> message. Love How that. cute. I'll pay, I'll pay you later. <laughs> oh, Kane. Is that a wide to Serge Aurea? Where's he going to go? Nice ball into Ndombele who's in the box. 
He's got to turn back. Back to Serge Aurier. Can he get a ball in? That's a great ball in! Sonny at the back post. Now with Sergio Aurier right on. Bergwijn. Ah. Oh, Bergwijn. He tried to cut in onto his left foot, but it was well defended. And then again, Toby just Toby. stopping another. But what's that's got to be the Benteke. that's got to be the third tackle or interception so far that Toby's already committed. Is it only ten minutes in? Looking like a rock at the moment at the back. Well, these Spurs players will be determined to keep this this run of clean sheets going. Is it four, four and a half games or something that we've had clean sheets in the Premier League? I believe so. Yeah. So. What's that? Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, and who was the one we played before that? That was a well, relatively hey, easy game. Memory. It was a relatively easy team, I think. And it was still a clean sheet. West Brom? Nice. West Brom. The 1 0 winner, West Brom. I think it was. Yeah, the game we actually struggled with. Oh, well, one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's because that's another team that did just kind of sit back and defend and we couldn't break down. But look at it. Regular is playing virtually left wing. He is. He, he is. had a right foot. He keeps oh. getting the positions. Cutting in and then goes, I haven't got right foot. Well picked up by Dyer. Dyer well staring read. down the left wing. Now with Reggio right, again. Right Reggio. Left foot That's ball in. Good ball in. That's a good diving header from the Palace defender. He was. Who was that? Gary Cahill okay, thought so. Yeah. Two pound from Mandy as well. Come you Spurs. Sunny brace. Things. I would love to see that. I've got him as my captain this week <laughs> on the fantasy oh, team. Oh, you've gone Sunny. That's captain, what I was saying earlier. You? I've always. Okay. I've had. I've had Kane captain every single week from the start of the season. Um, but I just fancy Sonny today and he nearly had it no. he nearly had it he just didn't have the right touch from okay. the amazing ball from well, Toby well I've gone Harry captain but you've had a good week you had, your goalkeeper got you 11 points I mean Martin I know it's because he got bonus points he made 7 saves to get more points he got the clean sheet um, I've got the Southampton clean sheet today Ward Prowse clean sheet um, Grealish would have got clean sheet points as well um, Calvert Lewin got the assist because yeah. he won the penalty all my players are doing well so, so far. Yeah. Oh, well, except for the Chelsea ones, but I'm glad that didn't that didn't come through. You're right up there on the Achillea League, aren't you? Oh, out you're of like the, over a thousand people in my in the, the, the U- top twenty in the league, I have I was 18th at the start of the weekend. So that's a it's quite phenomenal to be honest with you. I think I'm still a hundred points behind top. Okay. Watch Kane get more points then. Oh, then so, yeah, hundred percent Spencer, mate. That that's always how it works. It's the rules. So the thing is, every single every single week, <laughs> Sonny scored and Kane's assisted pretty much. And I've always been reluctant to put Son as captain because I know the one week I'd do it. Ooh. Oh, Ka- oh, oh! I, th- I don't think Kane was ready for in. that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, when in Dyer um, rocketed a, a ball forward low into Harry Kane, and Kane just missed it totally. And I don't even think Kane, Kane just went wide. But I don't even think Kane moved. I think Kane yeah, was not was just, expecting that ball through the middle at all. It's really hard to explain. It was just really fast, hard, low into Kane. And he just seemed to go really fast. And, and and he, you're right. He went past it before he know, knew what was happening. Yeah, and actually nearly went in the goal as well. That would be so funny if that went in. Regan's having a lot of possession. You're right. I think a lot of our moves he are is. going down the left hand side. I say, actually, to be fair, it's fairly split. Aurea's having a few balls Aurea's in. been up there as well. But definitely Reguilón's well, loving getting up the pe- up the pitch today. Oh, good head from Kane to Son. Come on, Sonny. Oh, God. Has he nicked One, around two, him? Nah. Many Palace players to get past again. I had that TV perspective thing off again. I thought that was going past the player and it didn't. It was well defended. But now Zaha on the break. Tried to play ball forward. It's actually, mate, is that Ben Teke? Is he number 20? I think yeah, he is. Yeah, Back into Zaha. Onto his right foot. Oh, oh save. save. Well done, Hugo. It might have had a little deflection on the way through, potentially. Hugo did either well way. Get down low there. Did this have a... I, f- I felt like it had a little deflection. Shouldn't be letting Zaha on his own near the edge of the area. It area. did. It was a tiny deflection, I think, from one of our defenders, but well done. It oh, was, was on oh, Hoibjerg. That makes that an even better save. Yeah, it's a quick well reaction done, to move to save that. Well, on Lloris, best goalkeeper in the league this season. Did you see Mendy's blunder yesterday? Yes. To get that penalty. What, what, was, what was he, he doing? doing? That will oh. hopefully dent his confidence. At the moment, we should put a bet on for Toby to assist Son, because that's another great ball forward he's done to him there. There was definitely space for our attacking players today. 100%. So. Good. Force it back to their goalkeeper. Well done, Harry. Go on, kick it off. I'm not used to seeing Harry Kane so far forward. I know. I think this is very strange. <laughs> so the one reason, the one week I take him out as my captain, he wants to actually score goals rather than assist. 
I mean, either way, I'll take I'll take both of them getting points regardless. Yeah, well, naturally, it's, it's kind of you don't notice it during the game, but clearly it is raining out there. I mean, it was it's a bit outside, so isn't it? So it makes, makes sense. First order, CJ with a £2 donation. Thoughts on our links with Rangers right back? I heard about that. Um, Rangers are smashing it this season. Have you seen it? They're unbeaten in like 28 games. Yeah. Gerard's doing a fantastic job. Um, but yeah, again, kind of, oh, hold on. That's a great ball into Zaha. Zaha, who whacks it over the bar. Zaha's over the bar. I think Dyer does well to cover the goal um, to prevent any decent shot. Zaha has a shot on his right foot. Miles over, but that's a great ball over it's our defence. It's actually hard to believe after 15 minutes that this game is nil nil at the moment. Yeah. Both teams are counter attacking well. And you're expecting there will be it lots is. of opportunities. It is fairly open. I will give it that. They're, they are getting the ball um, forward a lot in towards our box. And Zaha has been in great form all season. Um, currently on my bench in my fantasy, on I'm talking about fantasy points because. I just, I'm hoping that our defence has been rock solid enough to get another clean sheet. So, well, the fact that Grealish did nothing, then maybe I should have kept him in. In the way they're, they're looking pretty good on the counter as well. Um, Easy is a really good player, says Spencer. I agree. We said it before the game. Yeah. He's definitely a young looking talent good. to watch out for. He had an amazing season last season for QPR. Um, really surprised that it was Crystal Palace was the only real team going in for him. I, I expected bigger clubs um, like Chelsea, even us. To try and go it to go in for him, but I believe he is from South London, so I do think Crystal Palace is a team that he su I think he supports Palace. If I'm not oh, mistaken, really? I saw I watched his first interview when he joined, and they were talking about the fact he's from South London, and this that and the other. So they were saying like, "Oh, welcome back," but I don't know if he actually supports Palace or not. I think he's just from from that side of the river. Probably a Man U fan then. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tavernier, so the right back for Rangers, has the most goals and assists in the Scottish Premier Football League. He's class on pens. Oh yeah, that was it. Remember, we watched the um, we watched that Rangers. Remember, we watched what? Go oh, on, the belly. Oh, oh what, what a save. save! Wow. Oh, what a save! And Dombele, great chance to great score. Great snapshot. Kind of had to spin. He was facing facing away from goal a little bit. Right foot. Keeper had to get low Warrior to stop that going in the bottom him. corner. Damn, what a wow. save. That is one great save each. Anyway, so to go back to what I was saying, remember when we watched one of the first Europa League group games and we watched the highlight show after and we watched that Rangers game where the guy scored from the halfway line but then we also saw, yeah, that, the, yeah, we yeah. saw that the defender took the penalty. That's the right back. And we were right. saying, like, how has he got so many goals? And that's what they're saying. He's, not, he's the top goal scorer and assister in the Scottish Premier League. What the hell? Maybe it could be worth it because Doherty's not looked like the right man at the moment. Rumours yeah. are we're going to give Aurea another contract, which, I mean, so far, he <laughs> deserves it. He looks class. He, he has looked so good. So many Spurs supporters were uh, very anti Aurea. Yep. Um, well done, but he has, you know, Changed all our opinions, I think. Yep, 100%. Oh, Dyer wants to get forward as well. This, this is a very, very attacking game from both teams, and it's actually quite exciting to watch. Good get ball in. in. Oh, oh, come on. It, oh, regular, regular I know. If you had a right foot, he actually, oh, 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 my God. Wow. Oh, it's a corner as well. That could have actually... He had a go at bending it with his right foot from the edge of the area. Just went over. How is this a corner? You he were just saying. Who's that come off? It's not a corner. Hello? <laughs> How have no, we won a corner from corner. that? Oh, what sure a, you got a there, George? Well, all the players are calling for it, and, what they, a and they pointed to the corner. They pointed to the corner flag. They've shown that again. That was a good ball win by first Aurea, time shot. First time from Dombele. Keep had to get so low. Turned away to celebrate, and then <laughs> went, oh. if only Kane was maybe a bit nearly, more. Nearly, yeah, it nearly fell to Kane. Yeah, look, we got a corner for it somehow. Somehow we got a corner. Go on, Sonny, it's just Kane. Yes. Oh, oh save! No. <laughs> Sonny took the corner. It was a Kane header. Wow. I mean, it was quite close to the keeper, but you still had to go to the side. Quick snapshot ahead of from Kane. Got over. Who was that? He got over Schlupp. Good save again. Oh, that would have been a fun assist to Kane as well. Oh, uh, would it? Yeah. Oh, this keeper's uh, made two brilliant saves already. But that again, that shot from Reguilón. We why, why do keepers always, always have the... I know. The Newcastle goalkeeper, the Brighton us. goalkeeper... So, yeah, apparently Kane's been fouled. I wonder if he was jumping up in the air and backing into anyone. Yep. 
Oh, no, oh, no, no. A sliding tackle. tackle Slide through with his ankle. A kick up at. You're eight. always worried when we look out. When we look, oh, he's booked him yeah, a little boy as well. That. I can never say his name. I think he's <laughs> getting sent off. I hope so. It means he can't take the penalties either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if they were to get one. Oh, man. Yeah, but Reguilon, we were just saying, if he only had the right foot, because he looked, he was squaring up to make try and look, he was going to have a shot with his left, realised there was no space, went on to his right, and tell you what, nearly went in the top corner, and somehow we got a... Uh, so a Sonny corner. looking very interested in taking this free kick. Why is yeah. Sissoko there? <laughs> Why is Sissoko, Hoiberg, and Bergwijn there? None of them take free kick. <laughs> They're all saying, okay, which way do we go? Because we all know Son's going to shoot from here. <laughs> Funny enough, Hoiber looks interested in taking that. He won't, but it should be. Yeah. They were just saying that Kane won the foul. So sh if Son scores from this free kick, should he get the assist Son. or not? Because it's a. Oh, no, he's Mars. That camera's screwed it over again. Hello? Oh, what are we What's doing? What's his trainer move? Okay, that didn't work, guys. Nice try. I don't think Toby was ready okay. for that because he, totally, nice he totally mishit that with his left foot. So it's hard to explain. We had two players. Three players, I think. Bergwijn. Over, over the ball, almost like a wall, but right in front of the ball. And then one of them just laid it to Sun. Oh, so, um, so, oh my God, and I can't speak. Crystal Palace are doing... Of our old, uh, they who, who then screwed up his cross into the area. Palace were doing decent a bit of football to get towards our area, but they did a cross that went straight over for a goal kick. But that so was even though that was a disaster the way it worked, I like the fact that it looks wow. like they're trying to do something from the halfway line. So they're showing our average positions and only three of the outfield players are actually in our half and they're all only basically just. on the halfway line. Yeah, but look at, look at Reguilon. Reguilon is further forward than Kane, Undombele and Bergwijn. And uh, only Aurea Sonny is only just behind. Aurea and Reguilon are only just behind Sonny. <laughs> in terms of furthest forward and average positions. It's more or less a back three. Yeah. With Hoiberg Hoiberg's just in dropping of, in, isn't he? Yeah. Of um, Dyer and Adavaro. See, that's where I like it. I don't like when we go five at the back and play wing backs with three centre backs. I like it when we attack like this, yeah. where you've got a defensive midfielder turns into our centre back. Because that's what Dyer used to do back in the day. Well, yeah, with yeah. Yeah, under exactly. Pochettino he was the defensive midfielder but then dropped into a three at the back when we were attacking and that allowed Rose and Walker to go forward and we're seeing pretty much glimpses of that right now in this, in this team you've got Undombele the reincarnated Dembele you've got Hoiberg like a much better dyer in defensive midfield and Sissoko being Sissoko <laughs> <laughs> Sissoko is just still there Sissoko <laughs> is unique Good nice passing to, to Sonny. Sonny to Kane. Go on, Kane. Shoot. Go on. Yes. Go on. Yes. 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 No. And we get the Come assist. On. Oh, yes. yes. That's a goal for Spurs. What a goal. Come on, Harry. From miles out. Oh, the that kick. That was ridiculous. After his amazing saves before, the keeper has an absolute nightmare with Kane. We were shot joking when we said go on, shoot. Absolutely wow. joking. Undombele straight into Sonny. Sonny, Sonny pass off to Kane. To Kane, the bet is on, guys. The bet is on. <laughs> the bet is on. The ball colours. Did it swerve much? It no, the keeper just was, like, was just so. Does it swerve? Not Only not, a little bit. Yeah, but not that much. That's terrible goalkeeping. The keeper was shocking in that moment there. It dips right in front of him, but even still, the keeper goes to his right. He does. The keeper's already the going to his right. One footed, and then. What was that? Throws it in. If the keeper just stood still, he would have saved it. Which is the yeah, which is the weirdest thing. Gone down and picked it up. But that is a Come goal on. for Sir Harold Kane, MBE. <laughs> now we need Kane to assist Son. And what did and I say, we'll chat? In the money. What did Come I say? On. As soon as I put Son captain, Kane's the one that scores. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, my captain! It's all right. Get we in. still got the assist points, and Son's going to score anyway. And, and, get, our bet, son, so. and get our bet in. It's going to get our bet in. So that's all right. What was that? The keeper's been so good up until that moment. <laughs> Had an absolute nightmare. Get in. But Kane now trying to catch up to Sonny on the goal scorers list in the Premier goal League. this season. You know, Kane's already surpassed his... It is not Christmas yet. Oh, what's happened oh, what's there? Happened? What's happened? Reguilon's down. Reguilon's down injured. He's... He's trying to get... He can't get up at the moment. So come and cover Spurs. Corner. Corner. He's, he's absolutely rolling around on the floor crying. What even happened? I don't know. We missed that. I didn't think a player was near him. What happened there? Very strange. Oh, was there a foul? I wasn't really paying. I was trying to... 
Oh, I can't see where. Catch him? Oh, I can't see where he like. caught it. I didn't look like he did either. Didn't look like unless the studs went into his ankle. Right. Okay. I can't the see. good thing is he looks all right. Looks like he's getting up. Yeah, I think he just got nicked on the uh, on the ankle by the looks of it because he is hobbling a little bit. It must it have been from his. Okay. Ah, oh, it's good. Dumbele into. I think Son actually took a heavy touch. I think he was trying to carry that forward, but accidentally passed. Oh it yeah, yeah. Kane. No, it wasn't a pass. <laughs> it wasn't a pass. <laughs> it's, just, it's the way Harry it swerves, hits it, kind but it, of, I, it swerves a bit. But not, not enough not to enough send to the keeper the total wrong way. Yeah. That's just poor. That is, it's, the it. the amount keeper, of saves he's done for that keeper to happen. Keeper looks devastated, doesn't he? Having pulled off the save he did earlier. But it's a Crystal Palace corner now. Come on Spurs, you've got to keep that clean sheet. And concentrate. No silly penalties or anything. Easy Eze. to take the... Taking yeah, it. I don't know if it's Eze or easy. Or ease. Clear away, that. away, away. Oh, ah, okay. Easy, easy. I think Schlopp has a pretty pretty poor attempt. Easy. Lloris with the ball. Reguilon. You can see his ankle hurts a bit, but he's, he's mobile. He's moving oh. around. Burvine just got GBH'd. Who was that? Was that <laughs> Kiate that did that? That's got to be a yellow card again. Let's Surely. See. It was Kiate that committed the foul that time. I'll tell okay, you what, how good do we... How good, oh, well, oh, yeah, I put 1-0. Crap. The one, the one way around, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, chat. I, wasn't, I, was too, <laughs> I, was too, I was too excited about it. No. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry, I've changed it now. Refresh, refresh the stream, refresh it's the stream. It's a good job that thing below is... Yeah, this, is one, this right. one's right. There. there. Thanks, chat. <laughs> so Spurs have a free kick. From the kind of distance where Harry just... I scored. think he's actually going for goal, you know. Uh, Look at it him. Looks like. It's miles out. So what nah, we need surely is not. Just touch it to Sonny. <laughs> yeah, touch it to Sonny and Sonny have a shot. <laughs> Harry... I knew, he would, I knew he would go yeah. for goal. It's miles out. Poor attempt. Poor attempt. <laughs> he should have passed. He's trying, he's trying to do that bend, bend thing again. It's a bit of a strange one, that one, Harry, but... If your confidence is up. What on earth was that? Don't worry, guys. I've changed the title. Refresh the thing. We've had six attempts to their four. Very interesting. I told you it's been a little bit end-to-end. -end. Oh, don't worry. But I put 1-0 Palace instead of 0-1 uh, Spurs. We've had three attempts on target to their one. Very interesting. Oh, come on, I want this to be a 4 0 We I'd need to, to win this comfortably. Yeah. Get the confidence. And I up. want to see Deli Ali come on as well. Yeah, but, but, oh, yeah. well done, Regan. Oh, it's got to be another foul as well. Is that Undombele joining the foul? It was indeed. Well, we all know that Undombele is going to come off in, at, at, in the 65th minute anyway, as standard. But the question is will it be for Lacelso or will it be for Deli Ali today? I think it all depends on what the score is going to be. I've I'd rather him save La Celso and Ndombele for Liverpool and Leicester. Personally, I can't week. see Delhi coming on unless we're 4-0 up. Well, that's what I'm saying. If, the, if we're, I, I if we're up by a fair it. bit by then. But what you want to see is actually we're pretty much dominating. I mean, Palace do look dangerous on the break, but we're pretty much dominating this we're, game. We're, we're definitely controlling you possession want, a lot more. You and I want to uh, take advantage of that. For sure. Go on, Sonny and Sister Kane. I oh, know we already had, we already had that. We need Kane yeah. to head it back to Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there's a, a dangerous ball, oh, look at Lloris. Lloris has come out of the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on now. Love the ball. Must have gone. Must have gone out. Gone by out. The looks of, I yeah. think it went out the stadium by the looks of it. Palace broke. Uh, they've gone the way back to the defence. So easy. The Even the cameraman was confused. He wasn't panned over enough, <laughs> quick enough. We have no free kick taker other than Bale or any weakness. Yeah, you're kind of right there, actually. With no Ericsson. Yeah, Di um, Dyer often takes free kicks, but they haven't but with, given him the opportunity. Yeah, with the, way, with the way Son and Kane have been performing. It, oh, go on, Son. Again, just a bit too heavy on the second touch. Took the ball away from him. And now Palace counter with Eze on the left hand side. Cutting in. Good passing. So ah, sharp, doesn't really? he? No foul. Oh, he's given a foul. I don't think Bervon barely touches him. He goes down as soon as he feels like a breath of air. Okay. So, how far out would you say this is, George? 
I don't know, 20, 25 yards. I think there's still a decent amount of distance to, to shoot. Oh, it's actually not too far out, to be fair. It's actually, yeah, it's closer than that. It's I about thought. 20 yards, I think. Just waiting for the camera to pan out. Oh, See, that makes it look like Oh, my God, this is how you this, got This FIFA camera angle makes it look like he's <laughs> right next to the goal. Yeah. But then they show the next one, and he's like 50 yards away. <laughs> come on, come on, show it from the side and be a long way out. That's Half why First Order said that's why we need uh, Tavernier, a right back, because he's the best free kick taker in Britain. Okay, no, it's a long distance. Oh, it is a long, it it is a long The replay made it look like he was so close to yeah, the penalty yeah. spot. Uh, I mean, the, the, the long way penalty out. area. <laughs> he's oh. definitely going for goal, though. Mm-hmm. Easy on the free kick. That would have been hard to for him. Nathaniel Klein, is he number three? I think it, or, or Patrick Van Arnholt. No, it's Van Arnholt number three, I think. Okay. No, he's definitely going, there's no way he's not going for goal here. Is he chewing gum while he's playing he football? He's chewing gum, yes. I never understood that. What if you choke? <laughs> Just about to he's going to go for goal. Now. Benteke is looking for the rebound. Hope it hits the wall. Which it and does. It <laughs> wall, yes. All that build up for nothing. <laughs> Good. Palace throw. Well done. The wall did its job. Who's, I think it hit Kane in the face. And jump up. It does. Kane heads Kane it. Heads it. <laughs> he actually heads it. Heads Who it. does that? Kane is the best centre back we have in the squad. Who does that? In the wall, <laughs> you jump up and you he actually like went. That. You didn't hit him in the not, head. Not he just fully went face. bang. <laughs> he goes, oh, "I'm real." Oh, stop crying, Zaha. Oh, it looks like Charlotte's crying about Spurs in the chat. Oh, what's Harry Kane doing? It definitely seems like at the moment it's between Spurs and Liverpool for the league and the little argument they're having in the chat right now. <laughs> but that's for now. We've got to see. We've got to, we've got see, to see halfway. Out. We've got to see the game against Liverpool out. Well, I'll see this one out first. Well, game at yeah. time, George. Game at time. I like the way we're starting this, though. I don't want us to lose the intensity in the second yeah. half because that's the one thing Mourinho hates. And that's why he loves playing this team. Uh, he loves playing Bergvine as well because even though Bergvine hasn't necessarily offered us much in terms of goals and assists, he said in his interview he loves the intensity that he offers Spurs. Um, and there's been a couple of games this season where we do lose the intensity of the second half, um, which is why, obviously, often we do change Ndombele for Lo Celso or, or another substitute. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping we keep this going into the second half, but I would like at least Dombele another goal in the next 15 Stoko minutes. Again, it's good interplay. That's a regular on the left. Oh, he always nicked it into on. Kane somehow. Kane? So to Bergfine. Bergfine, you want to? Ah, they keep going on the belly. Oh, corner to Spurs. The keeper just beat Bergvine to the ball, um, but had to use his hand to parry it away, which it fell to Ndombele, who had a shot with his left foot. Um, I don't know if it was going in anyway. I don't think it was, but the keeper saves it and it's a corner to Spurs. What are Palace crying about? I'm not sure what they're crying about. I think about. it was offside. No, he's no, miles on side. Miles on side. Miles on side. Yeah, look. Strange I actually didn't get excited because I thought it was a mile off. And, I was, and I was keeping an eye on I the I thought it was a mile uh, off as well. And Dombele's shot was but actually was going well in to, well, on target in the goal, but the keeper saves it just about. It was on Dombele's weak foot. Oh, that's what they're complaining about. I think the free kick, uh, potential free kick on Milivojevic. So I suppose corner has come in. Hoiberg, but and Dombele. got it away, but it's gone back out to back wide to Sonny. Is he going to assist deliver. Kane again? And is that going Corner off? to Spurs, you hope? It's oh, it's still on. It's no, that's, that's, that's got to be corner, surely? Ref hey, I was going to say. Ref, Kevin Friend, was unsure. I had to look across to the linesman. I don't, I don't think the linesman were sure either because they both looked at each other just like, uh, I'm going to give a corner. <laughs> Have you seen the face mask that guy just had on? No. He's covering his nose but not his mouth. <laughs> like a tiny little... Oh! oh what's going well, on? How did that oh. go in? It kind of went middle height with a lot of power. Oh, he's miles offside. Miles, miles yeah, miles offside. keeper's ball. Keeper's ball. Very, very end-to-end game right now. Much positive energy. Come on, chat. Like that. Love the common new Spurs. Let's get that spam in. You know what? Let's keep it going. Let's go. Let's get common new Spurs in the chat right now. One new up. 35 minutes in. 10 minutes I'm left in. of the first half. I would love just to get a second before half time. And then hopefully kill the game off in the second half with a 4-0 win. That's what you would want to see. Another clean sheet's important for this squad. Oh. Okay, that ball okay, quite we're a bit slow control, control. George, relax. It's a foul, thank you. Foul on... Is that Bergwijn? Yeah, it was. 
What's he complaining about? He went straight into the back of Bergwijn. <laughs> Love that. All pouring in. Let's go, chat. Make sure to leave a like while you're at us as well. Press the X. Close the chat if oh, you're on mobile. Oh, Harry's ball over to... Regular, Regular. good touchdown. Go on, play to Sonny. There we go. Ah, oh, blocks. By the post, by. Keate with another block. Regon winning it back. Oh, Almost kept it in. Regon, tell you what, he's on He's on part to be man of the match at the moment. He's, he's a great game. everywhere on this pitch. Again, the ball by Harry Kane was just unbelievable. Phenomenal. Touchdown by Regon. I feel like he maybe could have played it left to Son, but had his sight on goal. Fortunately, it was blocked by Keate and still won the ball back. Well, ball down by Bergvine. Good turn. Very nice. good turn. Guys, we're on 500 likes right now. Let's see if we can get up to 600 in the next three minutes. You've got three minutes to leave a like. There's 750 people in the chat right now. I know I know, at least 200 of you have <coughs> left a like on the stream. And it's free. Come on, support us out. Every like is another goal for Spurs. It's heard its fact. Very lively game. And this is, I think this is really is. proving that we are an exciting team to watch. And it's only against the big teams that you can see us play that defensive style because Mourinho knows how to win them. He knows how to win those games. Sometimes you've got to play defensive and dirty against the top teams. So expect that on Wednesday against Liverpool. And Fulham Good. versus Liverpool Hoiberg. later today. I think we'll all become Fulham fans. Oh, yes. Scotty Parker, my boy, do us a favour. I believe so. I think there are two games on in the evening as well. I think um, Arsenal Burnley are playing at the same time as Leicester, I think, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. 7.15, I believe that they, they kick off. Oh, someone sees a blue colour on the like button. That means you left a like. Well played. You've got to turn the like button blue and turn the subscribe button grey because we don't want to see any red. No red round here. Come on, Spurs. Come on, second one. Nine start. minutes to go this half. Yeah, they Eight might minutes. add a minute on, so probably yeah, about nine minutes and still. And a bit of injury time. Ideally, if Kane is assist on Saturday. That would be fantastic. <laughs> we would like to see that. We would like to see that. I love how they've oh, acted. Oh, oh, hold on. Is that through? Schlupp drop? Ooh, oh, Sissoko. That is from Sissoko 100% a yellow. Yeah. No need for that. Took what one for was the team. that? That actually oh. was pointless. He didn't need to do it. No, because I think Schlupp passed it into the Spurs and player. This is going to be a lot more dangerous, his free kick. This is right much on the edge. The area. If no. anything, it might be a bit too close. because There was absolutely no need from this from Sissoko. Totally was hacks. covering. It was back. But he then. hacked Schlupp down. Oh, man. Yellow for Sissoko. Very dangerous free kick opportunity for Crystal Palace once again. Ah, uh, not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Is okay. that oh, going to be easy again? so dangerous there, this free kick. You would you'd take a left footer to take this into the top left corner from this angle. That's almost guaranteed to go, to go into the top left. So we're going to do the player behind the wall so that the wall jumps up and we've got a player. I think it's, I think it's Ndombele. It is. Ndombele's going to lie down <laughs> behind. Yeah. yeah. He normally winks when he's playing, does, <laughs> does the <laughs> lying down behind the wall. Let's see if Harry heads this clear again. <laughs> it would be funny if he smacks him right on the forehead. <laughs> You'd hope Luis has it covered, but then they might go top right. Why are you still pushing the, Why is, where's the wall go? Where's the wall going? Is this Va Van Arnholt's definitely left foot? I told you, left footed player. He's at, yeah, he's probably going to go top right corner now by the looks of it. This is How very, is this not going in? Very dangerous. How is this not going in? I'm sorry, but this like... I don't know. Why have we not got eight players in that wall? Why is no one on the goal line? <laughs> like, like they're doing FIFA. Just bring someone back because this looks so dangerous. Yeah, look. <laughs> he looks like he's just done a guitar riff and he's just on the ground just like ending his concert. <laughs> How's this not going in? He goes no, low, to be low. fair. He tried low, he tried but comfortably. Was it off Sonny? And it was off Sonny, I believe, yeah. Into Hugo's arms. Not to worry about that. That's terrible because oh. he's but he's going low on the side that Lloris is What's already it, standing on. Player, are you? It could be either. They were both standing there. It looked like either sunny, way. But... We somehow got away with that. I'm sorry. When you're that close and you're left, how are you not trying to go top bins there? Why would you go oh. low onto the keeper's side where he's already standing? Where he was standing. Very shot, strange. Shot. 
Very terrible, strange. Terrible effort, to be fair. Now what? Oh, Zaha's oh, getting Zaha, angry. He's actually getting very angry. Did that, oh, they gave us a throw. I didn't think that went out either. I can understand why he was getting a bit, a bit frustrated. <laughs> Guys, what did you make of the first off so far, on. those that are watching? 40 minutes gone. Five minutes left. 1-0 up. We've looked pretty comfortable for most of the game, but definitely a couple of couple of dangerous counter-attacks from Crystal Palace. They do look good when they go forward, but luckily we've had most of the ball. Oh, so oh, enjoy it with his first, the first mistake. Field. And here we go. Like we said on the counter-attack now, Zaha. Left-hand side, Let's Sissoko see. covering. Sissoko comes off to Curry. To Onto his oh, right. I've got the words out. Why too. did Schlupp leave that? Get away, get away, lovely. Good clearance Dombele. in Dombele. He's having a good game so far as well. He also had a chance to score early on in the game. Palace bro, Klein, to throw it in. Level the edge of the air area. Oh, he's gone round Region. Is that Schlupp went round him? Yep. Hoibio covering for him. He's gone to the edge of the area. Ah, easy for Dyer to clear. Come on, he's get out to him as soon as possible. Back, control it, control it. <laughs> claim for a handball is never going to be a handball. Okay, Spurs so okay, are struggling yeah. to get hold of the ball at the moment. At the moment, it looks like we're trying to see out the Just see out the first half with a one 0 lead. But Crystal Palace on the attack. Sunny, Sunny good block. blocks the crossing. Well played, Sunny. Palace come again. Take the throw in short. Slop. Into Milivojevic. Out to MacArthur, I believe that is. Yep. Sissoko pressing him back. That's good. All That's the way good. back to Cahill. Now Ndombele pressing Cahill. 63% possession in the first half, Spurs. It feels like it because... So it's not pointless possession. It's no. actually been um, quite attacking. And the thing is as well, as much as Crystal Palace have countered, that's it. They haven't been able to control the ball at all, really, um, for a moment. They haven't had like a really a spell of possession. It's just been they attack, have an effort... Back with Spurs. What are they trying to say? So they're saying we win more games when we have less than 50% possession is what they're saying. Bizarre. Our win rate Bizarre with less... Wow! Hold on. Our win rate with less than 50% possession is 73%. Well, that just shows good defending against the big teams, but Schlupp going... For, he's going so far forward for a right back. Easy! Oh! The outside of the post. I think Lloris got a hand to that. But no, he's not, no, no, he hasn't. No. Oh, he looked like he did, but still... Very close attempt from Eze. Right foot. It actually, it's awkward bounce. Nice effort. Oh, oh, wow. Just wide. No, Lloris didn't get near that. See, this is why we need to be careful. They do attack really well, Crystal Palace. Um, so we do need to capitalise more when we counter-attack. Oh, Bloody hell, well that was beat. close. He was well beat. If that had gone... Yeah, even... <laughs> it just showed a slow-mo. <laughs> <was> just gone... <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. That's why we've got to keep going. We've got to keep attacking. We do need uh, There's only a couple minutes left. Um, obviously, a bit of added time as well. But Just hold. I'll take a hold to half time. We have scored a couple again. of goals right before the end of the first half, especially against Ar notably against Arsenal. So if we could get another one, that would be amazing. But at the moment, I think Crystal Palace are having. Just the last couple of minutes, Palace have been, yeah, they've been got on it. Better the Almost feels like the end of a game rather than the end of the first half. Yeah. But has been good attacking football from both teams, I'd say. Very exciting game to watch so far, even though it's only 1 0. Both teams have had plenty of chances to, to score. We got thrown all the way down by the corner flag. Clear it, Spurs. That's it. Big kick upfield. Can we get the second ball? Oh, oh that's, I'm an idiot. I yeah, keep saying, Schlup, of course, Schlupp's playing right mid, not right, right back. I forgot they've got Klein on the on the pitch. Um, yeah, I, was, I keep gets fouled in I keep thinking, line. I just keep thinking, why is Schlupp always so far up the pitch? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he used to be a fullback for them. But he's playing. See the comment. Kane, right Kane is better than Maguire at centre back. Well, he's not wrong there. I don't think anyone's better than Maguire at centre back, to be honest with you. How boring was that Man United, that Manchester derby yesterday? Region. Back into Ndombele. He's a bit deeper this time. Can he get a ball through? Back, Back to Region. <sighs> Cut out by Schlup. Oh. Is that Zaha going forward? Sissoko actually. Good cover well. from Sissoko, yeah. Ah, yeah, wonderful. Well, Hoybio well wins the ball. Off. 
Oh, oh that's dirty true. tackle. By We're still play, he's played he on played the advantage. I don't think we want the advantage. By Zaha. I think um, it could well be a yellow card to follow. Potentially. Ah, oh, terrible oh, ball forward. I'll have taken the free kick. <laughs> yeah, can we go back? Can they do the rugby rule where you just go back? One minute added on, as expected. One minute left of the first half, guys. First order saying, not even kidding, I fell asleep during the derby yesterday. I was working during the derby yesterday and I wasn't even fussed. <laughs> I kept on looking back thinking this is the most awful game I think I've ever, ever seen. Well, please, I, I didn't watch it at all. So. Oh, it would have been a waste of two hours of your life if you watched that game. Oh, did we get a new member? Did I miss it? Or has someone just put... Oh, I don't think we did. Uh, you put the exclamation mark at the start, Hader, if you're check, trying to check from the night bot, the mod. That'll do. Oh, I thought it was offside. Oh, it was oh, offside. Was no, it was offside from earlier. I mean, there okay. was 10 seconds left. It's about to be half time. Guys, we've got to be happy with the way things are going. Well, one nil up. Still looking fairly confident at the back. Well, this is they the just thing, had right? the one chance where they hit the outside of the post. A person has said we need to keep more possession, but we've had 65% possession the whole half. It's yeah. just the last, just last five minutes. Five minutes they've they've just had a good yeah, a good little run. But that is half time in another London derby. Crystal Palace, Tottenham. Um, phenomenal that the goal we scored was the goal we scored because we've had so many good attempts prior to it and the keepers pulled off some amazing saves for Crystal Palace. Yeah, it was the shot yeah. from, what, 30 yards from Kane right at the goalkeeper that he just totally blunders in. Yeah, took um, a step to the right when he shouldn't have done. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> fell to his left and pushed it in with his left So hand. rather than actually dive into the left, he just drops and pushes it back into the goal, which is very, very strange considering how well he started off the game for Crystal Palace. But um, yeah, I think it's quite a positive first half, to be honest with you. Very attacking from both teams. We've had 63% possession in the first half, which is good. Um, Reguilón's looking phenomenal today. He's getting up the pitch like left wing almost. Um, and almost actually has He's another striker. Amazing. He had a fantastic yeah. right foot yeah. shot. Nearly went to the top corner uh, that we somehow got a corner from. Um, but no, I think that's a... Fan uh, it's a really good start for us, I just wish we had better chances to make it maybe 2 or 3 nil to see out the first half. But we can't get complacent in the second half. That's all, really. No. I think uh, Jose will be saying that to them. Keep going with that positive energy. Keep coming forward. We should get more and more chances as the game progresses and Palace push forward more. That opens up, that plays into our hands. Yep. But we can't deny that they they, they look dangerous in terms of, well, Zaha and easy. Didn't? Yeah, they uh, look really good. Don't Even Schlopp's getting forward quite a lot for them um, and providing some chances. Drawing in the foul from Sissoko as well. So... There's no denying they, they they have got chances in them. Look at Eze hitting the post. Um, he kind of mishit as well, actually, because the way he, he kind of side-footed it, but it bounced into the ground. But either way, was heading to the bottom right corner and just clipped the outside of the uh, outside of the, the post. So we can't keep giving them too many chances because they might finish, might finish one of them or maybe even win a penalty because Zaha at the moment seems to be driving towards the byline a lot. Um, so I'm hoping we don't commit any fouls in the box and concede that way. So I've got to say, Fred Gamer is saying that he has a frame of Paul Gascoigne's shirt from the FA Cup final in 1991. Do I remember it? I was there. He was there. I was there. I'm a bit surprised at this because Gascoigne would have gone straight to hospital from uh, the challenge that he did towards the, at the edge of the area that um, caused his injury in that final and to be taken off. So... Um, so pretty impressive if it's, it's his actual shirt from the game. Yep. <laughs> you know, was your, was your parent a doctor or something and <laughs> took it off him? <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really, oh, it was an amazing time. I'm at the background when I think it was Mabbert. Picks well, up they the trophy. Or and I'm waving in the background. We'll have, oh, to, we'll have to dig that we'll out. We'll have to dig it up at some, some point and react to it what, you'll see my, what was it then, a skinny arm just waving to the camera. Um, so yes, very enjoyable. The last time we won a proper trophy, I don't count any league cup. Yeah, games, league I'm sorry. Seven of us, only six hundred have pressed the like button. If you're watching this, you like it. Press the button, help George out. I love that from Godfrey, my guy. Thank you. Where are we at right now? I think we're on yeah, six hundred, six hundred likes. Cool. All right. 
Let's try and get up to 700 before the second half kicks off. Bring a bit, a, bit, a bit more positivity again. Bring it back. Because I feel like we had that at the start of the match and we, we went 1-0 up and we kind of slowed down a little bit. So it's all your energy. I think the Spurs players feel it, you know. So. And Brian Troy makes the, uh, the very apt observation that funny how he saved all the difficult close-range shots but flopped an easy long-range shot. Easy long-range, yeah. Kind of like Joe Hart. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, <laughs> you're not wrong. Very, very similar. Very, very similar. <laughs> um, but, oh, that's one that I was going to say earlier, is that I can't believe that Kane has already passed his goal contributions from last season in the yeah. first 11 games. Because it was before today. He's already got more goals and assists than he had last season. Yeah. In 11 crazy. matches. It's crazy. It is crazy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And he's climbing. He's he's always, like with the goal today. He's climbing to catch up to Calvert Lewin. Is he still top of the? I think he's still top of the. I think Sun's only one behind Lewin. Well, so Sun's ahead of Kane, isn't he? Yeah, but only by one. He might be yeah, even now. Let me let me check actually. Currently, as it stands, my God, <laughs> this is amazing. Calvert Lewin's uh, top with eleven at the moment. Sun's second with ten. Kane's joint third with nine. So Kane's joint third with Salah and Vardy on nine. So Kane's only two away from the top. If he gets a hat trick today, he's lead goal scorer, and he's still the lead assister with ten assists. That's some crazy. De Bruyne thing. is second with six. Yeah, that is mental. That is crazy. Unbelievable. So they're just showing the goal, I believe. That was a nice first touch from Dombele into Son. Actually, I think that won't get spoken about as much. It's weird what the keeper does there. It definitely doesn't swerve enough. For him to be totally sold that this going bottom right. I still don't know if some meant that. No, he, he definitely did. I think that was a heavy touch. It's so weird. They're showing it. I it's just. Probably just completely missed replay for the must have, yeah. must have done. And thinks he's gonna smack it in it's the, the way ball. Kane hits the ball go, when he goes across the ball with like his foot. Looks like he's gonna I, try and hit I think as well, when, goes, when you look at the angle behind the goal you can see that Gary Cahill's going from right to left. So the keeper must be thinking that Cahill would cover any shot that was going to the left. So that's why he dives to the right, because that's where the space is. But then obviously swerves back towards the left. Just totally wrong footage from their goalkeeper. And they're saying the same oh, that was... Dombele. I mean, that was the fucking class. That was a brilliant save. Dombele grabbing his head. Look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how? Has he made that? And this other one as well. well. Kane header. I mean, it is more yeah. towards the. I yeah, kind of would expect. I would expect to, to say, save, but did look in when we saw the header. It looked like it was he is head, doing that. He is doing that weird thing where I think De Gea does that a lot. They dive when they don't need to. He did that then with that Kane header. It was kind of to directly towards him. Yet he still jumped up and tried to dive to make it look like a better save than it was. So they've just shown this was, was the, three, three, four saves he's done. Yeah. And then he goes and makes that cock up. Is this the easier one? No. This is the Zaha one, right? Yeah. yeah, that was the save. That's the one the one proper save that Larissa I think has had to make. From because he took the game That's good reaction because of the deflection off of Hoyberg. Yeah. Could have easily gone bottom left corner on accident. This must be the easy one, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. It's a good shot, it's a really good effort. You're right, I think he definitely has Larice beat there. Oh he does. I don't think Larice is reaching. He wasn't that. getting there. He wasn't no. Getting there. Wow. It's very fortunate. Of the very post. fortunate. So what a game! It shows what an enjoyable game it is. Isn't it? it shows six, seven clips of that first half of goal attempts. Um, Brian's asking second half set up shop or go for more goals. You gotta go for more goals. Never set up shop one nil against Crystal Palace. You can't do one nil. One nil against Liverpool on Wednesday. Yes, then you bring on seven defenders. But when you, especially when you play them away, not when you're playing Crystal Palace. And the fact that they're attacking as well, like we said, it plays into our hands. It means we should be able to counter-attack better, if score get, more goals. If we get second, then we will. That's why, I was, that's why my prediction was 2-0 earlier. I kind of just... I think, especially with Mourinho, the, the, the clean sheet at the moment seems to be the most important thing. Obviously, once you've scored, then it's the most important thing. Um, it would be nice to actually see us get four goals or so. Maybe three or four goals. I think minimum 3-0. I'd be at ease because even 2 0, I'd be kind of worried that some quick counter attacks at the end of the match they could draw. But I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. With the way the players are playing right now, um, especially how far forward Reguilon and Aurea are getting up the pitch, I can't see us sitting back and defending second half. It's not going to happen. 
I, I think everyone in the chat's becoming a Fulham fan for today. <laughs> You're, you're not yeah, wrong. Yeah. Even though I chose Liverpool for my last man standing thing, yeah, and, um, I would rather get knocked out of that competition. There are nine of here. us in that competition. Uh, eight um, went eight for Achilles. Liverpool. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> so, what did Uncle but, George go for? But we're happy in what. Southampton. Oh, okay. I nearly went there. I was like, there's no way you can pass up on yeah. Liverpool playing Fulham at home. Yeah, so you went for Southampton. <laughs> oh, wait, so, sorry. So, and we're all happy for him to win the last man stand. Uh, listen, I will happily we'll, give him the we'll, tenner that I put in to get the happily. We'll take that. If it meant that Fulham even got a point, to be honest with you. Yeah. We'll take any points dropped. Um, I would have been happy with the draw, Everton-Chelsea. So I'm, I'm even more delighted that they got the win in the end. I just Let's just concentrate on this game. Let's get the win. Ah, Roger, we can't go six get of the, the win. Back. Move on. Can't go six back against Crystal Palace. We will at some point, but um, oh, with five minutes to go when you're two and what? Maybe, yeah, but not now. He not won't straight bring on. He won't bring on Lacelso for Sissoko. No, it'd be for uh, Dombele still it, if he does that. that. Won't that happen? I could still see him. But nah, is he going to bring Delhi on though? I think that's just me wanting him to bring Delhi on. No, for, he won't. You'll know, still bring Lacelso no on, won't he? No way is he going to put Delhi on at one nil. Oh no, no, not a one nil. Not one nil. nil. Maybe not. A that's what I'm saying. If we had, if we had a couple more goals before the 65th minute. Right. Drink? Do you want a special I would, tea? Uh, no, just a normal... Uh, Diet Coke would be nice, please. Do you know what? I would like to see Deli Ali. I... Oh, both the ladies and the lads team are winning as well. I didn't know... Were, I knew the women's were playing today, but I didn't know they were playing now. They were winning as well. I want to see Deli Ali try and play that right, right mid-roll. That right wing role, considering the fact that obviously Bergvein, he's doing his job all right, but he's still not really scoring or getting assists. The position's up for grabs. It's the only place in the team that you could say really is up for grabs, that right mid, right wing position. Um, it would be nice to see if Delic, because he did that a bit under Pochettino, didn't he? Because it would have been uh, Ericsson as a number 10 almost. And then we had Son on the left and Delhi on the right, or vice versa. Son on the right, Delhi on the left when we played the 4-2-3-1. So it would be nice to maybe see Delhi try and get back in that position in Bergwijn's spot. What do you guys reckon, chat? Because, I don't know, I feel like it's something that could happen. There's no way he'll come in for Ndombele in that number 10 role. Um, that will be for Lacelso. But I would like to see Delhi potentially. Delhi for Bergwijn as a substitution. Daniel Kim, you're not wrong. Delhi needs to score in the Europa League kind of to get his confidence back. Yeah, right wing, we do have options for Lucas, Bergwijn and Bale, but it's still up for grabs. I mean, obviously Bale hasn't evolved into the player, the, the top class player we need yet. Lucas, bit on and off, but played a lot of the game on Thursday. Bergwijn does well to come back and track back, but again, because Son and, because Son and uh, Kane are playing so well and get involved so much in almost every attack, it's, it's hard for Bergwijn to get on the score sheet. So it would be nice to see something a bit different and maybe play Delhi there. Um, you'd like to see Ali replace his soaker. Some of his best performances were deep lying against Real Madrid. That's another potential thing. It's, it's, I think no one really knows his position anymore is the problem. Used to be a cam, then played like left attack in mid or right attack in mid. Then all of a sudden started to do this second striker role and we don't do that. Um, but then also it's played well deep as well, so no one really knows, to be honest with you. Okay. Nice. Those are the ones I have, I think. Yeah, they're the kids' ones. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> saying Lascelles for Bergman in the second half. Nice. Oh, no. What do you mean? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Celso isn't. It's fine, I've got that thing anyway, I don't need one. Yeah, Belzil has got the flu, that's why he's not involved today. Second half, we'll kick off again very shortly, a couple more minutes. What are the Palace supporters like? I can't tell you, to be honest with you, because while we do the streams, we have to have the, the volume down really low, trying to avoid copyright and all of that, so I can't really hear much of the Palace fans. Um, you could hear them when maybe they a foul went against them or something like that. You could hear them jeering. But um, apart from that, I can't really hear much to be honest. We've got the volume too low. What type of midfielder is Winks? Winks is just a centre midfielder, to be honest with you. 
Nice. nice. Good work. Good. You have to tell me all about it after. Yeah, I will. Lee saying he's happy with a draw against Liverpool. I think I am as well. You obviously got to try and go for the win, of course. But if we get a draw like we did against uh, Chelsea away, then you can't go wrong there, to be honest with you. What? Yes. Or Liverpool, if you want. Well, they kick off at, after our game. We're going to eat first. So we might miss this, some of the start while we're eating. No, they're four. They're four thirty. They're four thirty kickoff. No, it's Liverpool and Leicester. Uh, sorry, I mean Arsenal and Leicester. Burnley. Arsenal playing Burnley. Leicester, Brighton, seven fifteen. Burnley. Um, is Selhurst Park uh, is Selhurst Park a good away day? To be honest with you, no. Um, just purely from a away. I mean, nothing to do with the atmosphere or anything like that. I think their home fans are great. To be honest with you. Um, but from an away fan's perspective, you are crammed in that stadium. The, I, this one, the, mo the biggest away game where I feel like so close to all the away fans, and not only that, they've got pretty much restricted view in the whole of the away section because their roof hangs, it comes so low, and they've got all like the speakers and everything hanging off of it, so you actually can't see half of the pitch because of how low the roof is and the way it's designed, so it's not fun in that aspect at all, but... Is that the only one that stopped it? So far. And they're second in the league, right? Mm -hmm. Bastards. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Palace away day is a bit, a bit naff, to be honest with you. Not my favourite. The way Spurs, uh, what's that? Jay saying, the way Spurs is playing, Kane is the centre of the team. He just needs people who are capable of taking advantage of his vision of the game. Well, I mean, Sonny does that. Sonny takes advantage. I think Ndombele does to an extent. Reguilon clearly does on the left wing, uh, as where he seems to be most of this game. <laughs> What's that, Godfrey? I saw you said something about... I said again, I think it's funny. No malice here, considering me a friend. Insinuated several times to him. Last game, you were messing with someone. What do you mean? Sun is going to score and Kane will again towards the end. But a second half has kicked off, by the way, chat. Second half has kicked off. I still need to get a second half graphic, but we'll just say kick off again. Second half has kicked off and is underway. All right. We are now shooting from left to right. We need Kane to assist Sun is what we need, at least. So a bet can come through and also so I can get more fantasy points. I need Sun to score. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have kicked off again. Pretty standard, no changes. Thank you. I absolutely love after eights. Mint chocolate is so good. Mint ice cream is one of the nicest thing ever. Mm. That's a good point, Peter. I want to ask you that, actually. Because I want to know your feelings towards him. With the way that our right wings have basically been, I think you would agree, quite lacklustre. Yeah. I don't think Bergwijn offers too much right now. Lucas obviously plays a lot more of the Europa League games, so it's less likely to play in the Premier League. And obviously, Bale's not to where we want him to be yet. When he's fit, do you think Lamella walks into this team in that right mid position? Or, well, more, do you think he will? Do I think Jose will put him Yeah. In. Do you think he'll walk straight back into this team when he's fully fit? I hate to say it, but I think Jose likes his effort. His work rate is second to none, to be fair. But uh, We all know his technical ability sometimes can be a bit naff, especially when he's trying to take yes. on about 17 players. I think he takes on more of our own players than... <laughs> than yeah. an, than so an this system and what Jose likes to, to see, I think he would put him in. Yeah. You know I wouldn't. I know, I know you wouldn't. <laughs> um, and, yeah. I can see him going uh, straight whilst back. Whilst we've got this winning formula and this win, winning setup, you, you can't see that change actually happening. Because mm. I think for me, because I was trying to say as you were away, but Kane and Son, because they're involved in almost every single goal that happens. 
it's so hard for our right mid to get involved in the game yeah. in terms of scoring or assisting. Oh, go on. If he beats him there, that could have been a great ball. But yeah, I think because the, the right mid gets... It, it's, they struggle to get involved offensively. So that's why I think Lamella's going to go straight back in because... There's no denying he loves how much Lamella tracks back, runs oh, after yeah. everything, yeah. and can draw in a, def a foul potentially. So, oh, oh what's happened there? Was that regular actually misplaced pa yeah. missed past that? Just so has to be very oh, careful. Oh, I think that's a, a foul. And oh my god, how's he? How's the <laughs> underneath the linesman's nose somehow gets away with it? I am with Zaha on this one. Uh, I would Zaha's be fuming. I would be fuming. Sissoko so clearly fouls him. My worry was, is Sissoko going to get a second book? Yeah. Not, was it a foul or wasn't it? Oh, I think we've gotten away with that one a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, Lucas Sonny got the assist to Kane, obviously. Although it was kind of like a misplaced pass. I think he tried to carry the ball forward, but had a really heavy touch and it just passed it into Kane. <laughs> he meant it. Don't be silly. Yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> that's brilliant oh hold on oh ah oh, to be fair that's actually 1-1 one, one back but... <laughs> that's another weird Reguilon went sliding in to try and win the ball back thinking Nathaniel Klein was going to get there but Klein just kind of stopped running so Reguilon actually had time to get back up on his feet and then collect the ball yeah I don't like quite quite like how open it is when Crystal Palace counter so definitely definitely need to take advantage a bit and score um, for more well, that's attempts that's the thing about not having Winks as um, as a sub is actually if you want to take Sissoko off who do you put in there that's what I'm saying there's someone Sissoko in the chat Sissoko is living dangerously with his yellow card. yeah someone made a good point in the chat that um, Delhi has had some good games where he's played a deeper role but it's would Jose oh, trust him enough because Delhi will have to be very defensive if he is to cover for Sissoko if that is the case um, no. but I, I would imagine it would be for Lo Celso if that was the okay. case for Sissoko I'll be back in 10 minutes I've got to do some Sunday dinner so some cooking getting ready you're stuck with me now. Let me see this again. Yeah, I swear Sissoko doesn't get any of the ball. But it's literally right under the linesman. That is very, very, like, very strange how that wasn't given. We need another DM and move Ndombele to Cam and sub Lo Celso on. Uh, we've got Hoiberg. Angel. Hoiberg is the DM. So we couldn't have all four if we were to bring someone else on for Sissoko. You would have to be four midfielder. Oh, that's a good ball into Zaha. Ooh, right foot over that. He's offside anyway. Offside, thank goodness for that. But right foot shot over the bar. Poor attempt from Zaha, considering he basically just had Lloris in front of him. But again, how easy was that? Oh, yeah, he was miles offside, to be fair. It was Zaha's touch into Benteke. We played the offside trap quite well, but passed back to Zaha. How Zaha doesn't score from there is beyond me, to be honest with you. Um, but it doesn't matter anyway, because Crystal Palace were offside. See, this is looking a little bit dangerous. It is looking a little bit dangerous when they attack. Any more chances like that where they're onside, it could be over for us. Oh, don't... Give a foul. Oh, I thought Toby fouled him there. I would say Crystal Palace have been more on the front foot for the uh, for the first five minutes of the second half. They've definitely had better chances when attacking going forward, but still they're not they're not clinical at all. Not clinical at all. They're just they're just quick on the break. What happened for Zaha to be? His like shin pads peeled off. Did he? Get, I didn't. I didn't see him get caught in the leg though. That was really weird. Yeah, I, I don't like these one nils. It's, it's happened all too much at Crystal Palace away. These stressful games. I said, it's just stress. Someone said, "Who's better, Reguilon playing for us or his girlfriend?" <laughs> 
You know, she's like a Spanish YouTuber with like two million subscribers. She's, she's massive. I'm pretty sure she's got more followers than he does. She's quite mental. Wow, that's pretty mental, actually. They just show some stats for Crystal Palace. Was it last four games with Zaha? They what was, it, was it nine, like goals. nine goals they scored. Last four games without Zaha, z zero goals. And, ha, oh, no wins, I think it was either. I think it was no goals and no wins. And then the other one was what? It was nine goals and two wins, I think it was. The other four. What time is it over there? I'm in Korea watching this. Hey, legend. Obviously watching because of Sun. It is currently 3.25 in the afternoon in the UK. Lucas asking about sell, loan or keep Delhi. I would try and avoid selling him. Having the squad depth, depth, especially towards the end of the season with the Europa League, would be good. But he doesn't even seem to make the squad a lot. I would rather, if we were to get rid of him, I would rather loan him out. Because then maybe he just needs game time somewhere else. And to then come back and prove how good he is. But who knows? We'll have to wait until January. We'll have to wait until Yeah. Like close to training on him. Yeah. Now just people in the chat asking. I think they just showed him on the bench. I think realistically, Ali is either being sold on or on loan. I could see him potentially being loaned for six months to somewhere like PSG or, yeah. or somewhere abroad for then a potential um, full move away in the summer. But again, someone, like we've said this before, but someone with a good point, he's still so young. He is, he's what, 24? 24, 20, 25 this year? Still so young, which is why I just feel like he needs that hunger again and just evolve his game as well. Is that not handball? Well done, Dombele. Nice. We're going to get to Reggion, as always. Come on. The only game we haven't said Hoiberg's at class was the first ever game, and that was against Everton when the whole team was crap. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, Hoiberg's been mm. the best player in almost every single game. Sissoko really surprised That's how ball was Zaha, surely. Oh. There's no way that's it's a, a foul. foul for that one. <laughs> what? Oh, that isn't. Oh, they show the replay on Sissoko. He doesn't get the ball at all. I don't know how they... <laughs> get, I don't know how they... We need to take Sissoko off, though. They do, yeah. He, 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 he does look like he's going to get a booking anytime soon again, which is not good. Yeah, and that's what I was saying about not having Winks as the sub. It will be for La Celso and Undombele will play deeper. Or La Celso plays the centre centre mid because he played centre mid alongside Winks in the Europe. Get out. That's good head of clearance, Moria. Palace looking dangerous on the outside of that. No, good, nice quick play. Football. Zaha on the left. Oh. Woo. So they had a they had a, an attempt where Benteke was offside from a Zaha pass, but he passed it back to Zaha who pretty much had the whole of the right goal free and he's still sky... He's pretty much where he was there, yeah. but even a bit further yeah. inwards. He had all of that side of the goal to shoot into. Oh, he's, yeah, he's well further in. And he still did the, the exact same thing, just miles over the bar. Luckily, it was offside anyway, but his shooting's been pretty poor today. We're so disciplined that we don't know how to find our back. I know. Yeah, the <laughs> always. After that Newcastle one. Someone said totally on. unrealistic, but send Delhi to Swansea online. <laughs> Coops will bring him back to his best. Yeah, I was the same before. The Crystal Palace have definitely had the better spell in the second half, and this is what I've been worried about. Us getting a little bit complacent and not not being clinical on our attack like we were in the first half. Just need to get into second gear at the moment. Yeah, I heard about expect. what happened to Quin Quincy Promise. Well, go on. Go on, Bobo, get it. Yeah, she has go as on. well. I was expecting the keeper to come out to... Ca to come on, do it. something with it then. It's tough. It, we don't seem to be as... Yeah. We don't seem to be as... Um, yeah, look at this sharp, are we? Yeah. First half, we were so on our toes and we were playing quick passes in and into all the attackers, but... At the moment, everyone just seems to be a bit more static. Oh, go on, Reggie, on driving forward again. One, two. Oh, Don Mele loses the ball in midfield. And Palace come on the break. You don't say that all too often, but Don Mele did lose the ball. Ah, yeah, well picked easy. up. Well Boy, picked up by the, up. the general. <laughs> Takes on two, three players. How good Field is Hoiberg, man? 
How good is he? To I die later out wide. Oh, oh, Region, man. What was that? What have I made of Stevie so far this season? Uh, mm. Not great, mm. to be honest. Again, he's a tryer, he's a worker. Offers a lot of pace, but he just gets so overshadowed by Kane and Son that we don't really seem to do much on the right-hand side of the pitch. So it's hard for him to get involved, and I don't know. Again, still another very young player with a lot of promise. Did well in the uh, the second half of last season. Obviously scored against both Manchester teams. Oh, what, what a tackle! A tackle. Game, Dembele. But yes, Palace back with the ball. They definitely had a lot more of the possession this half, which isn't great. That's all right. We win games when we don't have the possession, as you've said. That's true, actually. You're right. <laughs> so, maybe that's what Mourinho said. He said, we're actually better without possession. Yeah. So let them have the ball for a bit. <laughs> so actually, when they show that lower camera angle, you actually notice the rain drops yeah. on the camera. It's always something you can't quite tell when they're showing the camera from up above. That it is still persistently raining in London town. Yeah, that was handball. Well, expecting Dumbele to come off yeah, pretty he's got soon. He's six minutes left. Hasn't he's, he? he's been a little bit quiet this this half, um, giving the ball away a bit in the first ten minutes, fifteen minutes or so. Uh, hello. <laughs> Does it want to keep getting further up the pitch? The attendance seems to be right. This is where I want to see us counter right here. Dai or Toby win to the header. The ball into the area. There you go. Win the header. Oh. All right, go, go. Now Attack now. Let's go, let's had, go. Hugo's got the ball. They had... Ah. Oh, uh, he's just slowing down, down because it we've Dyer? got Dyer down injured. And Sisso. Did they, I think they collided into each other, you know. They both went up for the header. Uh, yes, it's on Sky. Benjo. What's happened here, then? It looked like they both jumped for it. Was it a big clash ahead? No. No. Not really much into it. I think they'd be yeah, they're quite just see how either of them got injured, no. though, to be honest. Maybe they both just went in the freezer. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hoi, yeah. Palace have got the throw. They really should be throwing it back to they you. Will, they, they will. Like, they will. You can never be certain. No. No, yeah, they will. He's got to pass it back. Yeah. It's, it's done. Back with Hugo. Well done, Palace. I don't know why they're booing. I mean, we had the possession anyway. Like, it's not... <laughs> 60 minutes gone. Two-thirds of the game gone. Spurs winning 1-0. What a well, great touch. <laughs> That's ours. Got to be, surely. <laughs> Did he not just kick that off? Oh, dear. I'm seeing, I think I'm seeing with, things this game. Yep, I think you are. Um, yeah, I think I think it's about time to bring Lacelso on. To be honest, he had a really good, really good Europa League game midweek. And Dombele not really as involved this game, uh, this half. You can almost tell he's running around a bit now because he knows he's having yeah, a few he's, yeah, left. exactly. It's like crap. I've got three minutes. <laughs> what can I do? Oh yeah, I need to rub the belly, pat the head. Someone in the chat remind me for yeah. second half. Maybe that's why we haven't scored yet. Hello? Hello? You're giving them a free kick for dire diving. To Palace. So Palace very, got a chance to strange. get the ball delivered into the area. So the likes of Cahill going up front. Come on, guys. But more this energy. This is where we can hit them on the break. If we can manage to clear this wall. Come on, you Spurs. Let's keep it coming. Pierre-Emil Koyberg. <laughs> like that. such an exciting first half of football second half not so much yet yet you're right I think we should need to oh, well, well done by Sissoko there Boot ah who's that it's that that's looking poor was that Toby no oh Aurea yeah. I was going to say I would be shocked if it was Toby Cahill driving the ball forward from the halfway line out to Easy. 
who still looks probably their most dangerous player. Yeah. Zohog, he seems to be getting the right spaces, but his shooting's been pretty poor today for, for Crystal Palace. I keep wanting to say Southampton. I don't know why. Uh, ah, well, well done, done Sissoko. Sissoko. Come on. Just didn't quite break uh, for us on got the break. You. Goal kick. Huh? <laughs> In what world? Uh, is that a corner? Doesn't McCarthy or whoever or Milivojevic or just smack that straight off the pitch? You're telling me that rebounded off someone. This is the issue of having the fans back now. Crystal Palace now shooting into some of their fans from the corner. Going to give them that little well, bit of boost, a little bit of atmosphere. Shoot into their fans. Easy was your school, mate. It was either like the best player at school. It always tends to be like these professional footballers are like clear ahead of everyone. Oh, they go for like a little dinked cross in. Low T club cross in. And clear by Bervine. Clear by Bervine. Oh, man, I thought Sonny was... Come on, Just keep on the pressure. Trying to get the ball under control. But Kane back up. Palestine. Klein, long ball forward. That's a good ball out wide. Oh, it was a good touch by... Who was that? Is that MacArthur? I think it was. Palace are definitely getting back into this game at the moment. <laughs> Someone said Zaha's shooting into their fans, quite literally. <laughs> oh, We're well, giving away newsless free kicks all the time. Too many, too many. And I know we need a nasty streak, guys, but get this game under control again. Uh, uh, there we Sosa go, right on time. Minutes. It'll be 65th by the time it. he does come they on. They are one player. It is. <laughs> they have to be. <laughs> Don Bele will play two-thirds of the game. The cells of the final. Yes. I think Chandra has not even been watching. Let's hopefully have another 35 second goal. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be good. <laughs> see how, see how. That's a That's foul. A foul. He's foul. climbing all over him. Uh, what? what? On? Hello? Ben Teke was climbing all over Sissoko. That's ridiculous. Ah, easy, for easy for Luis. Luis. You'd like to think if they scored from that, that VAR could go back and say that that was a foul. Because whoever that was, was it Kiata? Whoever, it, no, it was a Benteke. I wonder. I, wonder. I think it was Benteke. Climbed all over Sissoko in the build-up to their attempt. Okay, Reguilon getting the chance to, uh, to speed down the wing. Yeah, Reguilon a player, again, kind of like Undombele as well. He had a great first half, but second half, not being, comes, as, not being involved as much. Son hasn't Aurea. been involved at all this half either, really. Go on, switch it. Oh, is he? Harry Kane, you're useless. Into Sonny. Oh, yeah. Some... Oh! oh. 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 That was a like, Rabona pass. It was. From and Dombele, and Rabona Dombele. pass into uh, to Reguilon out wide. Two. That's what I meant. Sissoko. Nice. Into nice. Dombele. What can he do? Because he's about to come off. Last chance. Bang it! Oh! Oh, just wide. Not bad, actually. From the distance that Harry Kane scored from. I think he probably from saw what happened in the Way too front. far out. Ah, oh, he kind of just mishit it, wide. yeah. He's always it's going wide. Time, yeah. <laughs> they must have done the change now. Yeah, I think they're doing it now. And Dumbele, obviously. <laughs> coming off. 65 minutes. Gio Lo Celso. Oh, he made it the 66th minute. Let's get one more minute every game. Every game, just <laughs> yeah. get one more minute added on. <laughs> wonder how he feels about that. He's starting each game knowing he's coming off in the 65th minute. That's why you've got to give your all for 60 minutes, 65 minutes. Yeah. Maybe they have an agreement. Nice do. Although both of them are our record signings, aren't they? 60-odd mil for both of them. Who did you buy the from? Real Betis. Oh, luckily, a poor touch from Benteke. Still worried about the Sissoko yellow card. Could get another one any minute. But then now, who do we bring on instead of? Sissoko? Who's no on mid for options? We've got. We don't. Yeah, you're right. We've got Lucas Rodon, Ben Davis. Well, yeah, it will be for one of those if we do make that He'll kind of change. Ben Davis off. Especially if it's only one nil, he's going to want to see the clean sheet out. Oh, that's a oh, good that's turn a for Zaha. To be fair. Yeah, I'd most likely Rodon for okay. Sissoko later on in the match towards the end if it is only one nil. At the moment, if there's a team to score. Oh. 
if there's a team that score, it's looking more likely to be Palace than Spurs at the moment. Not that they've had clear cut opportunities. No. They're just having better attacks than we are. Just getting more of the possession. <laughs> Soko just Soko. pushing Zaha away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. <laughs> I miss the Villa Benteke. I think Benteke misses the Villa Benteke. <laughs> okay, but I'm not sure why the ref is having words with La Celso. I think it was to do with Zaha. They must have. They must have had words or something. Zaha went to push before they showed the replay. Zaha went to push Lascelles. Okay. I like Lascelles though. He reacted. He's a bit of a bastard sometimes. It's good. We need that. Because it wasn't even Lascelles that committed the foul. Anyway, it was Hoybjerg. So yeah. <laughs> don't know what they were talking about. And they're still having a little chat now. Still going. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to bait um, Lascelles. Trying to get. A reaction. Yeah. also does get quite angry. Yeah. And I think Dyer was just saying, think, concentrate, guys. Yeah. You've got to concentrate now. Milivojevic dinked. Ben take a hit. Away, away, on. away, away. Oh, 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 luckily, pathetic effort by it. Was that Schlupp again? What are Palace trying to appeal for? Well done, oh, we weren't good at heading it. It's because all our tallest defenders are in the wall. That's why. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, my that. God. Pathetic def Pathetic volley. From Schlott. He's by himself though. You think any better player might be able to MacArthur get that on target? Yeah, that was a terrible Kind of slices underneath it. Okay, nearly huh. 69 minutes gone. And Spurs are not looking very comfortable at the moment. They've got to get this under control in this second half. First half looked really, really good. Wow, second, last, last 10, 10 minutes, minutes. Look at that. 75% possession for Palace, 25 for us. Okay, that's, that's, that's kind of good for us having a chance to win the game. <laughs> yeah. That, from that stat they showed earlier. Oh, it's not good, man. They keep us on the break. Good, though, as a Spurs fan watching no, this. but it's not. It's, we keep giving the ball. Oh, oh what does that? I thought I went miles off. Somehow I still stayed on. We're giving the ball away way too easily this game. Oh, nice, oh, nice one, Reguilón. Reguilón and Hoiberg gets it under control. Up to Reguilón. Good upfield. Good header. Oh, oh go on, beat him to on. it. Come on. Oh, we'll Van Holt is very, very quick. Beats Bergvijn to the ball. But this is kind of the problem, right? Is they both Dutch? They both Dutch. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Now I'm sitting there kind of thinking, what is the point of Bergvine? We're supposed to have him for pace, yet he can't beat Van Aanholt to the ball, you know? So it's like, yeah. now what does he offer <laughs> if he can't even beat the defenders to the ball? Oh, really? His ref is blown up for absolutely anything. <sighs> Ollie's saying we need to relax and find a second goal. You're not wrong there. It's all a bit scatty right now, this half. It's 20 minutes left of the match. Pretty much been all Crystal Palace. Definitely a game of two halves. It's a great ball forward into Benteke. Oh, he's found Zaha. Luckily, poor touch. Well blocked by Region. Oh, they're going to say out, handball. Get it out. Get it out. Well done, Spurs. I mean, there was an appeal for Control, a handball there. But we can't. Just can't get out of our... No, we keep lumping it up and it just moment. goes straight to their centre-backs. Coming back to Palace. Come on, Bergwijn. Good one-twos. Well done, nice. Oriette. No, Bergwijn even. Yeah, he's in the right back position, which is. <laughs> oh, good touch, oh, Harry. Lovely, Harry. Oh, it's just it's the ball palace, ball, palace ball, isn't it? Yeah. Did he get hmm. a foul though? He's moving forward rather than defensive. Unless they have given it to us. Is this a substitution, or why are they focusing on Bergwijn? Doesn't look. Like they must have no, given it to us. Yeah, yeah they've. Interesting. I thought that was Palace's phone. A throw. Oh, the throw was definitely their ball. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's <laughs> why I was really confused. Definitely by came it. off Kane. It was either a free kick or, or their throw. Again, oh, just giving the, the ball away. Again. Play on. Okay. Come on. Now what so are we going to do with it? Yes. Yeah, Region. Region. Who's got loads of space to drive into. And gets fouled. Nice. Right, draws in the foul from Schlott. I'm not even uh, convinced that was a foul either, to be honest with you. I think Reguilón... Claiming he got the ball. Reguilón has made a little bit of a meal of that, to be honest with you. I need to see the replay. It's getting a bit bitty, this game. Yeah. There's a lot of, lot of fouls. Oh, it is a foul, to be fair. Out. No, it is a foul. Reguilón does make the most of it, but it is a foul. Yeah, he does kick him. Do, yeah. I don't know why the Palace players are complaining. Like yeah. You can't really step out. Really. <laughs> I mean, you just... Come on, Spurs. Literally Against clips Against the run of the play, we could do with... Getting a nice Sonny to Kane assist yeah, would be good. Lovely. If you lay the ball out wide to Sonny now. 
No, we need Kane to Sonny, don't we? Oh, yeah, sorry. We need Kane to Sonny. Oh! Kane. Oh, oh you, come on. It was Dyer, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Oh. How has he not got a proper head on that? Was he offside? No, no, no he, well, he offside. kept it onside. Oh, you by yourself. How are you not come on. getting a clear head on that? That's a great delivery. Ah. Oh. Great delivery from Lo Celso into the path of Dyer, who was unmarked because he managed to run away from the defender. Just doesn't get a clean head oh, on it, good, and it goes wide. Here's a substitution for Palace. Who are they? Who are they just brought on? Oh, is that the name I can't pronounce? It's like Rid, yeah, Riedewald. Gyro Riedewald. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that does say Aldevar. What's the word when you got like, the letters are the wrong way around? Is that an acronym? I'm pretty sure that's an acronym yeah. for <laughs> Aldevarold. Oh, that's a really poor ball from Bergwijn. Yeah, Anagram. Yeah, Anagram. That's the one. That's and you are just the wrong one. You want me to try again? Okay. <laughs> try and slice the beef out. <laughs> yeah, someone Richard's rise. Get you're getting a lot. Getting a lot of Newcastle vibes this game. Getting a lot. We need to capitalise. We're we're not that great in possession at the moment. This half, even. I'd like to see someone else come on, but I can't really think who would be good right now. Lucas. Yeah. I feel like Bergvine for Delhi is probably the best shout I can really think of, but with it being one nil. The only thing I can see Mourinho doing next is road on for Sissoko or something. Or even road on for Bergvine and just go 6-4-1 or whatever. It, well, no, 6-3-1. I definitely feel like the fans have... That's our ball. Oh, that's got to be a foul, surely. Thank you. Schlupp collided into La Celso. Made a bit of a he has, yeah. He's committed a lot of fouls yet, still probably hasn't been booked. No, he hasn't. Someone said if we score another goal this game, we will win the league. <laughs> yes, this is this is the decider. <laughs> the one the the second goal at Palace decides everything. <laughs> Oh, is it going on still? I thought it finished. Yeah, well, because it's settled, because it lost. Oh. I can still see the end of it. Right. Oh, I do not like 1-0s. I called it 2-0 before the game. I still think it could be 2-0. I would like to see a sunny goal, please. Especially with Kane still. Yeah, that would help. Get some money as well as the win. But now Schlupp's been down injured for ages. I want more minutes added on to the game. <laughs> this is the new system. Stressful, but if we get the wins. Uh, of course, the wins the most important thing at the end of the day. It's just disappointing when you see how kind of quick and intense the first half was, how many attacks we had. We were in control of possession as well to then have a pretty lacklustre second half where we just seem to be clearing our lines and just giving the ball away at every second opportunity. Um, that's the bit that's a bit frustrating. Especially because against the likes of Crystal Palace, if you're going to challenge for the title, you need to try and win these games convincingly. But hopefully we do get the three points. I, I hate just hate one nils. For like the whole of last season, like the previous few seasons, so many games have been one nil and, and have been drawn or lost in the last, in the dying minutes of the game because we wouldn't get the second. Thanks. See again, possession given away yet again. <laughs> I love Mourinho's facial expressions every game. Oh, especially when a team like Palace attacks like this, you'd think it'd be easy to counter attack them. Why are we not getting a hold of possession? It's good pressing, but look, we've won the ball back. We're regular on there. Then straight past it back to Palace. Definitely not been anywhere near as convincing as the first half. Now they're on the break. Zaha on the left-hand side. Driving towards the box. 
Oh, he does a decent low cross in, cleared by, I think it was Hoybjerg. I think that's gone off. And they give him a corner for it as well. Oh, this is stressful, man. This is stressful. I hate 1 0. I hate 1 0. I hate 1 0. And it's going to be even more stressful when we play teams like Liverpool. Because you know that with the amount of chances that Zaha, uh, like, well, Zaha in particular, but Crystal Palace in general have had today, if you think that's, if you think that's like Salah or Mane or whoever they, Jota, you'd, you'd think Liverpool will bury a few of them. Oh my God. Benteke headed it just over the bar in the corner. This is horrible to watch this second half. Free header, no one marking him. Nearly goes into the top left corner. I'm kidding. Don't have a banana. Oh, not good, not good. Okay. 12 minutes left. A few minutes added on because there's been Obviously a couple of injuries game. Stressed Go on, I, saw, ee, uh, I think he might have been offside anyway. It's Palace in possession again. Again, giving the ball away. Why does it seem like there's more of them on the pitch? I know. Any more subs from us? Nope. I can only see it being Rodon coming on for Bergvine. Well, I can see Davis will be on first. Really? Yeah. And then to so allow Reguilón to go left wing if we do kind of attack. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Who's this twenty? Oh, Cahill. Cahill's about a run in. Yep. It's just floater and heading one again as well. And is Cahill that heads it as well? Get out. Easy. <sighs> Luckily, heads it straight into Larice. We had two players on the line next to him as well, just in case. It's too stressful, man. That game's got like Palace. I said it wouldn't be like a 3-4-0. have got Kane and Reggie on the line. Yeah, both of them. It's Kane wants that defensive <laughs> clearance. We were still at an onslaught against City and kept the clean sheet. You're right. Oh, wow, the attempts have totally swapped. Oh, God. Crystal Palace have had 15 to our 10. <laughs> I'm pretty Ooh. sure it was seven to their that was three first half, something like that. Dangerous delivery by Sahar then. Oh, we're committing the foul. Uh, Crystal Palace free kick. Set pieces are the looking side. like their strong point. They've got tall players, Cahill, Benteke, Kayate. Okay, we are not enjoying this at the moment, guys. We're enjoying right. the score. We're not enjoying the passage of play at the moment. Guys, I think we need that positive energy back. Spam some common use spurs in the chat right now. Make sure to leave a like on the stream as well. We haven't had like a like spike in a while. All your support helps the team. Currently on 743 likes. Let's get up to 800 as soon as possible. We might get a second. This well. It's a dangerous ball in. Oh, oh it's in. and they've scored. Always going to happen. to cock up there. I know. You said, I thought you had it. Uh, we said this the whole time. We said this the whole game. We said 1-0. It's just horrendous sitting back and defending against that. Easy, which, like, with a ball in that almost became, well, pretty much became a shot. What did Larice do? And Larice just see this. blundered it, and he it just fell to straight. Have it, and then he seemed to just knock it forward. But no, he like it, it came to see this again. He didn't. He didn't hold on to it. Any amazing? No, no offside. So no. Yeah, yeah he, he just it rolls down his body, doesn't it? He wasn't. Yeah. Ex I think he was ex waiting for someone to head head onto it. He didn't expect it to go straight to him, and he totally oh, blunders in. Is that Schlupp that scored? Terrible. I think Schlupp's the one that poked it in. Ah, oh, it's poor from Larice, man. Poor from the Reese. Now we've got nine minutes to go in one. All oh, this is horrendous. And with, when the likes of Chelsea drop points, we cannot, cannot afford to drop points here. No. Nope. Of course he gets his first goal of the season against us. <sighs> well, now I'm, now I'm hoping there's more minutes added on with the amount of injuries there have been. But with the fans supporting them oh, and they're on I, fire, I, I look at them. I'm steaming forward. We did say there's only one team that looks like scoring at the moment. Yep. 
We have done nothing this half. Absolutely nothing. Need to get into this desperately. Oh, well, one back though, Hoybier. Come on. We've got to capitalise on this. Kane on the left Kane. side. That's a foul. Thank you. It gives us a foul. Oh, it's too... St I, whole time. I hate one nils. This late. happens every season. One nils never going to... Delhi and Davis are both coming on. <sighs> What's this going to be for? Like Bergvine and Sissoko maybe because Sissoko's got the yellow? Because yeah. he's going to want players to do last ditch, ta ditch tackles if need be. And if Sissoko's on the yellow, he won't be able to do it. But, uh, but, well, don't know. And we've ruined our clean sheets. Yeah. Yeah. So Palace away has been, it's always been a tough. It's always been tough. Kane is fancying a direct shot, by the looks of it, for this free kick. <clears throat> it's about time he gets this over the wall for once and in the goal. Come on. Kane, he's definitely going for goal with this. Or even if it's a bounce back and hits and Sun scores. Hits Deflection. <laughs> oh, corner corner to Spurs. He looked for a moment as if it was to beat the keeper and like Yeah, was going to the right he, side. He's hit the wall, wrong footed the keeper, but just went wide of the post. Oh, come on, please. Come on, Spurs corner. Sonny onto Kane's head. I beg. Right, come on, we it? need to see the coys. Region coming off. Region's coming off for De Ben Davis. Really? Yeah, I mean, his second half hasn't been as great. And I imagine he probably wants Davis' defensive side rather than... I mean, Reguilon's obviously much better attacking. And yeah, Bergvine off for Deli Alley. Come on, Deli. Please, that last bit of Palace magic. We know we've got it in him. You know you've got it in you. Come on. One always pathetic. Come on, Deli. Within 15 seconds, let's have a goal. Oh, terrible ball in. Poor corner. How have they and got the ball as well? Oh, no, 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 the they're countering. And actually, Delhi is defending. Oh, well done, Delhi. Stopped it. Fantastic. Come on. Wake up. Let's counter them now. They've rushed forward. Come on. Sonny on the left-hand side. The oh, they, have they still got four, five players back? Seems like it. The so oh, great well, ball to Sonny. Sonny up wide left. Kept it in. That's oh, corner. That's be a corner. Now the corner to Spurs. Come on. Last minute. Stress. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Plus injury time. This is when we need like Dyer or other nils to just... Yeah, yeah. just bang yeah, a little nice. cheeky, cheeky head in the goal. Come on. That's a good delivery that delivery. time. Go on. Oh, what? How's it going? How did the ball go that, that way? Does the keeper, keep, I was going to say, the keeper must have punched that out. I thought Kane beat him to the ball. Yeah. That was really weird. Well, we, uh, Come on, he's got to be back to Hoiberg. Over to Hoiberg. Looking for an easy oh, square ball. Who's that? We've got to shift okay, it quickly. Come, Come on. Now with Ben Davis ben on the Davis. left. Left footed ball. Uh, oh! oh! Is it the bar? Oh, keeper saved it. I think keeper saved keep it, didn't it he? Keep it down. Keep oh! it down. No! How's that not deflected in? Oh, you're kidding me. That's not a foul. Play on red. What? <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Harry from such short distance. Davis, Davis nearly does a wink and accidentally the scores. Ball, hits the bar with his cross. I does it the bar. Hits the bar. And then Keeper's falling over. Aurea, Aurea miss hits a, a I, shot. It actually hits Kane, I think. It hits Kane, it hits Kane yeah. on the rebound and then, yeah, let's show this from this angle. Miss hits a shot. Kane, Kane heads, heads it. it. Oh, are you kidding me? Keeper somehow makes a blind so stop again. So close to a second goal for Kane. Reactionary saves he's very good at. It's the long distance stuff. We shoot from distance. We beat him. Unbelievable. Davis nearly scored from crossing the ball. We could have done with that. Uh, we need to win this game. That's handball, is it not? Draws are not good enough. I hate playing Palace away. I hate playing Palace away. All this kind of stuff always happens. Was it Palace we were playing when there was that really big game as well? I don't remember now. Did we lose to them away last year? Mm -hmm. I remember losing the FA Cup though, last year or the year before. That was the year before. Last year I think it was, it was the year before, before yeah. yeah. It's good. Oh, it's not a bad ball in, just a bit too far. 
away from Kane. Come Easy on, for the Spurs. keeper to pick up. Have to win today. It would have been such a statement if we won today. But we knew second half. One point is didn't not carry the good momentum. enough. And uh, Townsend, and coming Townsend coming on. Townsend coming on. We know what happens. Like Hodgson's going for the win, and I mean, I'm not surprised because they are all over us this half. I hate that it taken their goal for us to bloody wake up this second half. Too lethargic. That's got to be miles offside. That's not a foul. Is oh. it offside? Yeah, I was going to say. Side offside. I thought it was miles offside initially. The Soka has to be so careful though because it, you know, it could well have been a foul against him. I know Zaha's going to try and give him a, uh, get him on the second yellow. Wake up. Is it the substitution, I think, for Andros Townsend coming on? He's coming Big off. Spurs fan. He's, he's coming off. See what happens. They get fans back and all of a sudden they've got it? momentum. Is this Spursy or what? It's such a good first oh. half and the second half has been awful. The way the results have gone this weekend, though, we had to get a win. Had to win. We were... How, Palace away is arguably our easiest fixture out of these this group of like seven oh, yeah. or eight fixtures. Yeah, but that's exactly. Spurs, and it's proven right? to be the hardest. Very happy with the first half. Very disappointed with the second. Yep. We looked a bit lost. Don't know whether a stick or twist. Oh. This goes very out wide. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get there. It's all right. We'll okay, throw in right by the corner flag. Delhi chasing oh, please, the It would be amazing as well if it was Delhi just to get that last minute winner. Mate, I don't care what it is. I don't go anything. <laughs> just somehow, score. somehow fluke oh, a win. I just don't know where to go. What's going on? Yeah, Had his bro. Come on, Spurs. Not looking we good, chat. Not guys. looking good. Nearly a thousand of you in this chat. Got to feel it. Up the Fulham. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we're getting desperate if we're looking for Fulham to try and get a result. Go on, Scott. Should be Scott down to for the boys. It's a foul on Sissoko. Yeah. Four minutes added four on. Four minutes. Final four Lovely minutes of the game. To score. Come on. Final four minutes. I beg. What's the point in that? Just give the ball away straight away. What are Spurs doing? The hell, we are clueless at the moment. We are looking so, so clueless. Oh, Who's he playing? Oh, looking, for, looking for Kane. It actually looked like we don't know how to play football. Yep. Why they're doing brilliantly to get the foul. Back. foul by Andrew Townsend. Turn, Basically move forward. Soko. We're not looking anywhere near as sharp as we did the first half. No. It's almost as if we don't know what system had to, had to try and create a goal scoring opportunity. Son has not been involved Wait. at all this half, at all. But then we're not getting the right balls forward to him. We keep giving away possession. Into, well, into Delhi. Delhi. It's a foul. Fouled. Come on. This, is a, day, this is a good chance for a shot on goal. Even if the keeper saves it and parries it down like the bail one. Oh, oh, it's oh, just, what a stupid dirty. foul by. Was it Kiate, maybe? I think so. Did he get booked? Don't know. Uh, Should have done. I haven't shown it. <laughs> Would be a lovely time to score, guys. Who's on this? Got Derek Dyer. Dyer now. Dyer looking to shoot. God, I feel like this is just going to go miles over. You need to score and let Dyer take the free kick. Yeah. Which, I believe in you, Dyer. <laughs> I believe in He's you. He's done Eric. it before. He's done it for England. I think he did it once for Spurs as well. I think they were both near each other when he scored for England and Spurs on the free kicks. It's around about similar times. We're not even pretending to have anyone else take it. Son moving forward. Well, we all know he's going for goal. Most of us are expecting Rose Ed. <gasps> oh, oh no! no! What a How size did he save that? that! That was an amazing free kick, to be fair, Dyer. That, that was top, top 
with bins pace. with pace. And the keeper saved that corner to Spurs, wow. Sonny to deliver. You are okay, kidding. Oh god! Well Come on. Even I'll take a any penalty. Fouls, any, any... Oh a ball! What were you what you appealing for, Wally? But yeah, he headed it all back onto the hand. Come on, Lacelso. Wow. Outside the foot. Oh, yeah. mm, the ball, call the ball. It's all Spurs at the moment. Oh, he, so he lets Come in that easy VAR effort spell. and he saves this. Oh, that my amazing. God. He had no right to get that. What a free kick by Dyer. How on earth is he saving that? You oh. bastard. You bastard. Oh, terrible corner that time round. Poor corner. Well cleared by Palace. They're going ultra defensive now. We've got one minute left now. We need something. It is Final all about minute. the wing. Yeah. Come on. Have to win this. Until the cell side. Draw is pathetic. What are they all Make doing on the left? They're all on the left-hand side. He's getting the box. He needs to get it in, like, near the box for a start-off. Davis, Davis, long ball in. It across. To Aurea. Oh. Heads it. Wait for the rebound. Dyer heads it down. Nice. Come on. God, Delia. Was I thought that was Delia at first. I thought it was, I thought it was Delia at first as well. And then, I, and then there. I saw the number 18 and I was like, oh. Spurs 30 throw. seconds left. Where was this performance earlier? They're just throwing it off again, aren't they? Oh, we're with a throw. Come on. Come on, into Hoiberg. No, into La Celso. Deliver. Ah, no, what was that? Get there. And then he's going to lump it up. Go on, four get to there, get there. He has done as well. That's it, La Celso. Gets oh, fouled. Somehow we're in the foul. This is literally the over. last chance of the game. Come on. It's gone past it's the 94th minute now. Gone 94 minutes. One the last chance. Hurry up and deliver it, Spurs. Get oh, the chance. Because this will definitely be the last chance of the game. The draw's pathetic. Come on. Make sure you beat the first man. What no, the hell there. was that, Gio? Draw. Damn. Oh! Good enough. Got to win these games. You want to win the league? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Full time poor, one all. Poor result. That is poor so result. poor. That After is so so poor. Half, shocking second second half performance. That keeper is beyond me. How is he doing these amazing saves today? Let's in that blunder. Doesn't let that dire go in. Dire yeah. free kick go in. So keeper gets keeper will get easily. Probably gets man of the match. match, even though he was to blame for our first goal. That's how good he was. The rest of the game. Unbelievable. I'm pissed. That draw is not good enough. Of all these games, you cannot draw one all. No. So, so demoralizing. Shouldn't be trying to use long words. Um, we need to be more. We, we need to be more clinical. I mean, that second half. How we just kind of sat back. I feel like we just couldn't hold possession at all. First half, we were quick. We passed the ball really well. We created loads of chances. We had all the possession. We are getting forward with pace. And then I'm, I said it. I said it at half time. What you can't do is then get complacent because this has happened so many times yeah. before. And we did. We slowed down. We stepped down a gear. We let Palace have all the possession the second half. But we didn't even counter well. We gave the ball away in every single counter attack. So you're telling me now we have to rely on Fulham getting a result at, uh, against Liverpool? So, league table at the moment, Spurs with 25 points. And we'll rewind that a sec. We're still first. Liverpool but second with 24, 24, 24 points. But they do have the game in hand oh, against Fulham. Third is Southampton. Same games as us, 23 two points. points behind. Just two points behind. Chelsea, and three, Chelsea points. three points behind on 22. Leicester win their game even this evening Leicester. as well. Yeah. They go one point behind us. Yeah, that was massive, That's pathetic. Man. That's really, really hurt us. Really hurt us. We cannot be drawing games like that when you're ahead. It gets the likes of Crystal Palace. No disrespect to them, but... No, but those the are the games, games that you should be lost winning. Recently, those are the uh, games you should be winning. You know, you've got yeah. to go for the jugular. And we just didn't know what to do once we were ahead. We got, once we got to half-time... Then I think the trying to be safety first didn't work for us. Someone made a good point on Twitter. If you rewatch the free kick that caused their goal, there's arguments that it shouldn't have been a free kick. Oh, it's always the way, though, isn't it? Yeah. Always the way. Oh, crying out loud, that second half was pathetic. 
thought that first half was too good to be true. Actually played quick football for once. Yep, we looked sharp. Dominated, first looked half. sharp. Fairly open game, but we looked sharp. We looked more dangerous. What a shot by Dyer on that free kick. He's so that is unbelievable yeah. how the keeper has saved this. Unreal. Just going top ins. Postage stamp. How the hell is he saving that? What is it? Oh, what do you guys reckon of that then? That goalkeeper has, has to get man of the match today, surely. Oh, you see Joe Hart is talking to their keeper about it, about the goal that he conceded. And their goalkeeper literally was like, oh, I went to the right thinking it was going there and just went to the left. Well, they're interviewing their keeper now. <coughs> comment there that we have to win at Liverpool I think we have to not lose at Liverpool definitely I'll take a draw all day long but then the, the season's defined against games like this would Liverpool draw this game no, no they wouldn't they no would chance win Liverpool would win this game 4-0 easily yeah easily that's where it still don't believe this I can't believe that from Lloris as well for their goal he just clearly thinks that one of the, and it looks like it to be fair like it looks like that Ben Teke is about to go and head the ball so Lloris just I think was just kind of a bit shocked it went straight to him and then it just rolled off of kind him of bounced off right him. into the path of Schlupp who just obviously passes it into the net but no that, I, I that can't say anything about the fact that the goalkeeper had a blinder of a match saved some amazing chances in the first half and obviously that free kick at the end and then also just we were pathetic second half. Yeah. Like we just Four were. Second half. We just were. Because we thought, oh, we, we'll get another clean sheet. And whilst Palace had quite a lot of shots, they, didn't, they had one in the first half that hit the outside of the post. Um, easy and looked a uh, very good shot. Lloris was well beat on that one. But they, you know, we weren't looking, they weren't looking particularly dangerous in the first half. Um, but second half was all Palace. That's what yeah. happens. If, if you don't carry on on that front foot, start thinking about sticking rather than twisting, then things go against you. Fair enough, if you're 2-0 up, then you can go defensive. But 1-0, we know against any premiership side, that's dangerous. A dangerous game to play. Yeah. I mean, we, well, we said the whole game, man. Palace is so good on the counter-attack, and all it took was one, right. one free That's kick right. for them to get through um, and have an effort on going. They had plenty of chances to get the goal anyway, so they, to be honest, a draw is probably a fair result. It is a fair result, but we've got Liverpool on Wednesday. We've got to do our best to get at least a draw. I will take a draw, but now that we've dropped the points against Crystal Palace... We oh, we have to we've got to try and try and dig deep and get proper Jose masterclass somehow. But Liverpool away is by far one of the toughest games of the season every season, every season. But there, I mean, we're all going to be rooting for Fulham now. But there's no way in hell Fulham are going to get any sort of result well, against this kind of Liverpool team. Stranger things have happened, but this is also a very good Liverpool side against a not so great Fulham side. Ah, frustrating, frustrating. Still top of the table, as things stand, but obviously Liverpool playing uh, Fulham now. You'd expect Liverpool to go top by the end of today. Uh, Leicester have a chance to go one point behind as well, but that cost us big time. Next week is huge. We could be playing second and third, well, we are playing second and third place 
next week. Liverpool and then Leicester. This could really be a season-defining week for Spurs. It really could be, which is um, a bit mental building up to Christmas. Anyway, I think that's me done there. We're about to get some food. Not great, not great at all. I'm not happy, but you know what? We've got to go into the next game. Pray for them, get a result. And we just got, I mean, to be honest with you, it's probably the good kick in the back that we needed for the Liverpool game coming up on Wednesday. We had to prove that we, we or it had to show that we can't be complacent in any match, no matter who you're playing. Especially now that fans are back, giving them a little bit more momentum. Even with only 2,000, they made themselves heard every single corner they had and they had chances all the time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty poor. See, the thing is, the thing, some people saying, um, know your place, Spurs fans. Yeah, who are you to talk? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, Liverpool, if you're a Liverpool fan, fair enough. But if you win today, you only go two points ahead. And we got you on Wednesday, so... We'll see. We'll see after the Fulham game. And if any other fan is chatting, then, well, look at where you are in the league. Yeah, I wonder if this is a blessing in disguise when it comes to the Liverpool match. There's no doubt Mourinho, Mourinho is going to give them a proper talking to right now. A proper talking to. So we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, we're all going to support Fulham now. It's time to get some food. Thank you guys for tuning in so much. Thank you to anyone that subscribed that may have been new or it's the first time coming into the streams. And uh, yeah, we shall see you guys in the next stream, which is the big one of the season. It is Liverpool away on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. kickoff, I believe. All right. Love to all the people that came in and supported the, supported the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.